Store. We are now recording. Supervise. So I can blow up my uh. Alright, else. Nobody gets my my doors reference. Nobody cares about you. I'm cultured swine. It ain't my fault that all you know is old shit. Hey, did you know, Adam, did you watch that video that I sent you the link to? I uh, know, I've been so busy with work. Oh, uh, okay. Just wondering. You never copied over that human being ogre hook. Um. I'm not gonna keep it. I just don't want, you know. I'm gonna just arbitrarily sell it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, it can't be sold in this town. I know, so that's why I didn't copy it over. Alright, tell me if you want, anyone wants to keep any of these items. Oh, uh, I need to... I'm gonna that. just read them off to everyone, okay? Yes. All right. Wand of Acid Arrow. No. I'm gonna save that for Satchel. No. Wand of Gentle Repose. I don't even know what Gentle Repose is. Uh, maybe... You want a wand of gentle repose, because if you die and you don't have a wand of gentle repose, it can affect your ability to be resurrected. Like, what does it do? We have that. We have that amulet, though. Yeah, I have the medallion, so I mean. Right, but if anybody but Helga dies, she's not going to put it on you. She's greedy. Fuck y'all. Wait, don't we have does, two of them? Can we put them on after they're dead. Yeah, you could, but Helga isn't going to take hers off. No, yeah, you're right. I'm not. <laughs> oh, the your medallion. Yeah. Yeah, we have, have, we have two of them. Yeah, so. It's not. I mean, the wand is. Oh, I guess the wand is worth a lot of gold. Okay. Yeah. Let me see here. We I have had gentle... some. Gentle repose is worth a little bit of money. Uh, let me see if I have that spell. I mean... Yeah. Yo, yeah, you do. If not, you can always rest and get it. You have gentle repose. Yeah, All I right, do. so we can sell that. Potion of gaseous form. Nah. No. I don't even know what that does. Maybe. It turns you into a gaseous. clot of gas, and you can like float through tiny cracks. So let me tell me guess. It turns you into a gaseous oh. form. I'm gonna make Satchel keep that. Or no? Uh, does anyone want that potion? It's no. pretty useful. Yeah, we Put should the keep CL it. CL on it. Uh, it's the basic for that spell. So six. It has to be third level. So six or fifth. Somewhere around there. Yeah. It's a one, three, five. So it'd be five. Yeah, five or six. Two minutes per level. Willing corporeal creature touched. It's pretty useful, but um, it's got a limited use. Yeah, cast attack. Or this is not all of these. Sign piece on materials. So it's just supernatural abilities, as a touch spell that you use, as well as discharge from some of the that takes effects. Can't run, but it can fly at a speed of 10 feet, and automatically succeeds on all flying chats. Can pass through small holes and narrow openings, even near cracks. That's the most useful thing it does. But... On hand. Yeah. That's, yeah, you know what, we can keep that, because if we ever come up to a door where we need to get through, we can, we can use that. We could use the adamantium uh, broadsword. <laughs> yeah, Wonderful. that's the way you can just like, walk through, look, see what's in there. Decide on whether or not you're going to fucking do anything, because you have ten minutes of gaseous form, and then if you do, then you just open the door from the other side. Okay, and it's that great Wanda, for scouting. Wanda False Life. No one here really uses False Life. I use False Life on my amulet. That's it, though. Uh, Wanda... I don't think we need it. No. Wanda of Identify. Nah. I, I have Identify, and then uh, Zell's uh, Spellcraft is usually high enough to Identify. Scroll of Lightning Bolt. Nah. Lightning Bolt. Scroll of Keen Edge. Nah. Time of Opening. Nah. Yes. We're keeping that. Okay, we're keeping Has that. to work Dagger. Nah. Normal size. Uh, the plus one Keen Dagger. Let's hold on to that. I have some ideas on that one. Besides, it's too expensive to sell at the moment. Uh, hold on to that. What? Oh, I see. how much is it? It's eighty three hundred, which means you could sell it for four thousand one hundred fifty one. Four thousand. Wand of scorching ray. Nah. Only one thing. Uh, wasn't Satchel using one? Actually, yeah, he was using scorching ray instead of acid arrow, so we'll keep that. 
Okay. Magic Missile Wand might be good for him, too, because that'll fire two uh, instant hits from range. Napsid Flask? Uh... Nah, we have, we, have, uh, we have the girl for that. Actually, that's a good question, Zilcher. Do you need Acid Flask for anything? Acid Flasks? Yeah, I can yeah. throw them. Alright, just hold on to them. Golem Bane Scarab. Yeah, I'll keep that. Was that ring of, we're keeping the ring on the magic missile. Uh, the Golem Bane Scarab gives you like extra stuff for like fighting a Golem. I just wanted it because it's jewelry. Oh. Wand, wand of Ray of Enfeeblement. Nah. Yes. You want to keep that? Yeah, because it can do... Uh, what is it? 1d6 plus something strength damage immediately to things. So has to work. It's not okay. Wand of Vampiric Touch. Nah. All right, I mean, but you, can't, you can't sell it anyways right now. Two does seven. that do lifesteal? Sort of, but it's not very good at level at the level it's set at. I'll uh, just sell it, yeah. Masterwork quarterstaff. Nah. And three masterwork hand. Nah. Actually, someone already kept a hand axe, right? No. Uh, yes, I took one of the hand axes. There was actually two there. Okay. So that's. Thank you. So this will give me stuff to sell. So you guys will end up getting slightly more wealth than you have now. I already reflected what I sold before and put into your characters. Can I need potions, Adam. I need a, I should buy a, a wand of gravity bow. How are you going to activate the wand? By casting it. Do you have uh, use magic device? I believe so. Where the hell is that? Gravity bow on your character sheet. Oh what? What the hell? Why did it? I had a, a point in this. Fuck. No, uh, there's no point in it. Get it? <laughs> okay. Uh, whatever. Yeah, I guess I I might pick that up eventually. <sighs> I need potions. How much do they cost? Depends on the potion. Anywhere from fifty to seven hundred and fifty. They might not even be available. In large Helga. That one I think is seven fifty. Those are basically free. I can make them daily basis. You can make those for me? Yeah. What about cure moderate wounds? Um hold on a second, let me check how many spells I get per day. Oh. Da, 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 da. Cure moderate wounds, that's level two. I can make five of those a day. Shit yeah, dude. How much does it cost it cost you? Nothing. It doesn't cost me anything to make extracts or infusions. Well, can you give it to me? Is it, is it stuff that you could just give me? Yep. No. No, but with I had the like discovery to do that. But you have to consume it in like a minute or something. Yeah, it takes you a minute to make them, but I can make them ahead of time and then just give them to him, and they'll last until he uses them pretty much. Discovery and infusion is such a good... <laughs> it basically turns the alchemist into a potion maker. So you can make potions for me now. Not really. So that I need to okay, buy. You have to think of it as more of like it's a spell slot, and he can put those in his spell slots and hand them to people. Yeah. Okay. I got five bull strength potions, and I need more cure moderate wounds potions. How much do they cost? Uh. Okay, so keep in mind, well, okay, so this is what he, so how many spell slots do you have at level one? Uh, let's see here, level one spell slots, I have seven of those. All right, basically what he's doing is when he talks about, like, so what it, the way it works as an alchemist with this uh, thing is... 300 gold. And they might not even be available in this town. There is a list of uh, potions and co oh no, where is our Google Hangout? There it is. All right. There you go. So, uh, Mike, you can look at that. Mike, the difference between like the potion that he does, his extracts, and a potion, is that he prepares a spell slot and he creates a little like vial uh -huh. in the process, and he can hand that. But if you rerun spells or anything, 
So it ain't like he can make a hundred of them. He can actually only make seven a day. But the, and they don't persist past that day. Okay, so I need to buy a couple potions. Is a cure, a cure moderate ruin potion available? They're three hundred gold. All right. So we'll take a moment. All right. So right now, this was where the smith was organizing, was putting together a trade for you. Anyways, uh, okay. Let's see. So, what kind? Cure moderate wounds. Where, uh, where are you gonna go? To the potion store. There is. Ooh, there is no potion store. Magic's to shop. <laughs> I'll go see the dentist. Let's see, uh, there is no magic shop. Okay, then I guess I'm not gonna buy anything. Oh, oh the potion's cool. available. Right, I'm, I'm, back. Not, I'm not gonna play a guessing game on what kind of shops are here. Uh, well. You can always just go to the general store and talk to them, or go to the church. The church generally offers uh, healing stuff. So if you're extracts for last until they're used, period. So I can give Helga an, ex an extract of a large person, and it just uses that slot until she uses it. Currently, Correct. it doesn't last just for the day. Right, but I figured at some point you'd be like, "Oh, I want new extracts." It lasts until you make new extracts. There isn't a way to print these, is what I was trying to... Well, you, don't you get to brew potion okay. feet? Yeah, I also can do that. I can brew potions myself. No, you, you, you get it as a class skill, as a class yep. feat. I, I, yeah, I can actually make legit potions as well. I get that as an automatic first level feat. Oh, nice. So I, was... I, I can make potions on the cheap for us. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. So if you can make potions, then this stalls all my problems. Because I was reading about the alchemist, like, you may need to uh, pay her to for the ingredients and stuff. Yeah, yeah but it's half price. Get... That's the thing about creation is it's half I know. price. Full, so I don't think you just. I don't think Zell of all people would uh, provide you things for free. No, no, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm not at. asking for that. I mean, I'll give it to her. You know, can you can you brew potions of full strength? Yes. Can you do potions of enlarged Helga? Yep. Can you do? I can do enlarge. True strike. Actually, I don't know. Can you make that into a potion? Yep. Oh, it's okay. Cool. So oh, the fuck good. yeah. That was, I love fucking two strike. Two strike yeah. potions is awesome. So you just let me know how much gold you need for you know stuff, and then I'll I'll give it to you, Zell. <laughs> All right. So it's like half rise or something. Yeah. So it, that yeah. three hundred dollar potion is gonna be one hundred and fifty bucks. All right. So let's see. Let's <laughs> do some simple math. So I want five of them. So. Large is twenty is fifty gold a piece, so that's twenty five each. Unless she does it at a uh, higher level, I think. All right. I don't think you can do potions at a higher level, can you? Enlarge. Not past three. Enlarge Helga is what? 50, 50 oh. gold. Yeah, enlarge. Oh no, uh, sorry. Yeah, enlarge person is fi fifty. Yeah. Fifty. I, I, or is it for her? Is it a twenty five? 25. 25. Okay. I linked a thing for you to look at, uh, Mike. You I, can look, I look at the, everything. The link. Yeah, it, you can just control F and find your potions. Yeah, so, okay, so. I'm going to give Zell, I'm going to want five potions of cure moderate wounds, so I give you 750 gold. And then I'm going to give you. Ah! Who's making that noise? Five in Can y'all hear that? Yeah. yeah. I can barely hear it. And then the mic want, is weird like that. And then I'm going to give you another 125 gold to get me five potions of Enlarge Helga. We good, Zell? We straight? Yep. Awesome. So I'm good now. Helga. How many potions was that total? Uh, like 10. A lot. 
And did, did you do the transfer on the sheet? Huh? Transfer the money. I'm working or on actually, it, you, you don't transfer the money, you just... Just just basically buy it yourself for half price. Cool. That's, that's the way it would work. It goes away. I got it. <laughs> Alright, where are you buying it? Zell. No, no, you have to buy the materials. Well, I'm pretty sure there's a glass maker somewhere around here, and <laughs> and she gets the extracts. So uh, you can use wine bottles from the. Uh... No, no. I mean, just where would you go to buy even the base components? The general store to buy like basic, like a cork and a <laughs> vial of some and sort. An alchemist or an herbalist for the uh, ingredients. Or you can search from your own. For that, you're able to head to the Turtleback General Store. And in there, you do. here is where you find some basic, not magic items like healing or some such. Those would all be offered at the Church of Aristil. But here you find Windowini, some a middle-aged human commoner. And it has functional but unimaginative wares, and you're able to ring up all the inventory stuff there. Yeah, once I get my potions, I'm good. Because I, I, I like to have an emergency potion supply. Alrighty. So, and th as I mentioned, you came down this way one day uh, after working out everything in town so you could sell these uh, all your goods and get the money. You're still waiting on the money as... He will, uh, the shopkeep, meet the smith requires a day to organize something. Alright. Okay, that's no big deal. We can, we can relax for a day. So, that gives me time to, to organize my, uh, my cohort and be like, alright, dude, this is, this is the rules, okay? The rules is you sleep on the floor, I sleep on the bed. <laughs> Every morning I want my armor and my sword polished and, you know, clean. You know, I want my laundry done by midday. <laughs> And you'll call me uh, Lady Helga. Lady Helga? Yeah. <laughs> well, aren't you fancy? Quaith is uh, pleased that he's not getting executed. No, he has a fa far worse to do my underwear. <laughs> Clean my underwear. All right. Did anyone else want to try and buy anything in this town, this Podunk town? Uh, no. But I would. I probably would like to. Uh, we have enough gold to buy this down. I want to donate uh, three platinum pieces and nine uh, nine gold, five silver, and seven copper to uh, the church to help feed uh, anyone that isn't able to feed themselves. You good? Why that amount? Because it evens everything out. Oh, I, I, don't know. <laughs> I saw that. I saw that coming. No offense. You know. I just don't want to even. I just want to carry all this shit. No, if I if I just didn't want to carry it, I would transfer it all to different stuff. Like you're like that guy in the drive-thru. It's like, hold on, let me get like 16 pennies so I can get rid of these. No, I'm the guy in the drive-thru that comes to the drive-thru and pays in, like, $5 worth of pennies. <laughs> All right, so the, I just updated everyone's money. The leader in mat and money right now appears to be Waith. Wait, what? Waith, you're rich. Now, if we're going to go in total value of equipment, I think I'm going to win. <laughs> All right, so as we mentioned... Uh, Cave and Windstrike is now following, is following the group around. Bet he's so glad he's just not being executed. <laughs> but, um, so you settle in to uh, settle in. And I'm able to post. I, I tried making a quick version of Cave and you feel free to modify. I'll Give me send the you file, the. You know? Yeah. All right, so you settle in, waiting for the uh, waiting for the smith to return, 
And he does. He, he comes. Up, he comes up oh. to you. Uh, how long is that going to take? All day. All right. Then I'm going to also offer my uh, services as a healer and you know, being able to <laughs> cast magic and stuff. Like, yeah. Rub some and dirt on it. <laughs> How did, how did I script here a lab that it says 16 defense instead of AC? <laughs> what is this? Why is it what saying... What did you load? I, I didn't do anything to this. I don't get it. What are you talking about, dude? It says 16 defense when I look at my where my AC should be. Mine know. says 19 AC. Maybe that. did you load like a different game system or something? Uh, no, I just loaded... That's, uh, that's weird. Uh... I, I don't know, man. It sucks that's to be weird. you. <laughs> I don't oh. know how much my AC is. So, Rico, you show up and you're there with Malin as he's attending to everything. He just sent a messenger up to the fort to, uh, thank them for everything. I know you mentioned going up there, but he wanted to take care of it on on his own, just to let him know. So I sent a town villager to figure out if they need anything. Basically, mm -hmm. that leaves Shalalu, Rujicardras, and Vale up at the fort. Mike shared the... Oh, nope, I didn't share it. Oh, uh, how are they doing with, like, uh, things like books and stuff to teach people with? Um, uh, hmm. I mean, it is a sort of a ran down town in a sense. I don't. I'm trying to. That's a good question. I. What's a poor dot INK? It would I don't think it would be an INK. You would not want that. You would just want the POR file, I think. I ended up putting a link instead, because I don't know where the containing file folder is. Well, it won't let me download it. There's no link. Because oh, I, I think deleted I it. it. All right, here's the right file. I I guess they would be doing not very good. I mean, they, even though they're smack dab in the middle between Corvosa and Magnamar. It's clearly a uh, town with not many access, access to resources. Alright, then I'm going to give them another 20 platinum pieces to uh, help buy uh, books and writing utensils and stuff so that they can help educate the children. <laughs> about Goram? <laughs> Embrace the Which... love of Goram. So as Malin looks over the money, assessing, it's two hundred and thirty-nine gold, five silver, seven copper. And he's like, "Wow, that's enough. That is enough money for the fee. Uh, the feed five fa that this is enough money to feed five families for a year." <laughs> Adventurers get so stinking rich. <laughs> They're all peasants. I will ins It's like other things are important to the people, but I'll ensure it's uh, spent on those on those causes. You you have nothing to fear. Excellent. Uh, that is what I want to hear. What sources did you use, Adam? Do you have, like, different... Did you buy some different files? Uh, I don't know. Uh, this would be Nathan's computing. Hmm. Uh, what... If you go to Character, Configure Hero, what options do you have selected? Actually, everything I used would have been free, now that I think about it. I mean, there'd be stuff from, like, Ultimate Combat. But you don't need to buy Ultimate Combat separately, because it's... Ultimate Combat, oh, unless someone's selling it, but you should be able to free to get it for free because it's all in the system reference document. No, we have to buy the package. Yeah, you have to buy packages. Oh, did you buy that package, Nathan? 
Yeah, I got Ultimate Combat, and then I just picked up um, uh, Advanced Player Guide. Yeah, those are the only two modules I have. Well, yeah. thank you. We appear to be sharing the same. De- we appear to be same- sharing the same account. Well, thank you on that, Nathan. Well, I don't have it an Advanced Player Guide. That's why it said some shit was orphaned. Oh. <laughs> Orphans. Yeah. That would be the whole crossbow thing. Well, I'll be able to PDF it later. Oh yeah, because that's uh, advanced stuff for rangers. Yeah. Okay, so did anyone else have any business to attend to while they wait through the whole day? Nope. Now that I have a cohort, I don't have to do nothing. Except kill things. <laughs> I don't do business. guard, I don't do guard shifts no more, nothing. Well, mo- mostly I do guard. <laughs> you did <Is> <laughs> I swear this isn't um, freaking calculating this correctly because I'm uh, looking at getting a mithril chain mail and it says it's only five thousand gold. Does that sound right? Plus one. Uh, yep. Yep. That sounds pretty Wait, close. No. no, that sounds more expensive, right? Mithril shouldn't chain cost mail? that much right, for just plus mail. one. Oh wait, 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 wait! I'm looking at something right. Never mind. Okay. Yeah, a plus one mithril is going to cost you fifty-three hundred gold. And it's because mithril, uh, masterwork mithril is going to cost you 4300 and plus one is only going to cost you an extra 1000 So it's going to be... Oh, yeah, it is pricey. Wow. All right. The old uh, man nicknamed Iron Tooth, uh, Gervaini, the middle-aged commoner <laughs> slash expert, he, return, he returns to greet you and he finds you going about the business and he's like, I've, I've arranged the financing. Do you want to uh, if you come back to my smithy, I can show you. This sounds dangerous. I'm bringing my sword with me. Somebody made him an offer they couldn't refuse. Uh, okay. Alright, so you return to his smithy, and he is... He's there, and he is with a... Uh, Varish, uh, you, you, he walks you back to the thing, and it's like, how was your day in town? Fantabulous. Great. It's a great little, great little town you got here. That was a lot of wealth for me to arrange. I called on a lot of people on town, and I was able to find an investor in the area. Who was the investor? The Grawl family? Huh. <laughs> <laughs> Sell all this stuff. <laughs> My mammy girl. He's like, uh. You know, a Varishan. A few days ago, a Varishan uh, caravan came through and they had some gems and jewels uh, uh, we'd be able to trade for, particularly uh, for some for this town to arrange something of this much wealth. They're interested in those items. What? I didn't understand that last part. <laughs> got, some, got a caravan. <laughs> the Varishan caravan is interested in those items you brought. Ah, right. She's got the wheels. <laughs> I don't know the caravan. It's got the fucking wheels. All right, so you get into the shop, and there's a Varishan man there, and... And he begins uh, gre- and he begins talking to the Varishan man. They're talking in Varishan. The other person doesn't seem to understand Taldane at all. And uh, the Varishan and the uh, um, and the smithy Jervaski start ta- Jervaski start talking and Jervaski is all. Then the guy's like, "That's terrible!" <laughs> like language, sorry. And so they does it, and then Gervini returns. All right, he'll have the items. Uh, here, I put the, uh, he's put together a small map, and he hands you like uh, this thing, and it's like, uh, it's buried near a tree uh, just uh, northeast of town. It's about a mile walk. All right, cohort, go. So we're gonna, you're gonna trust this guy that we were just basically 
sentenced to death with all your money and goods to go. You know. Kevin looks at the situation. He's like, "How much platinum would that be?" <laughs> Here's my cohort. several hundred. Yeah, I'm I'm going out there with the uh, the goods. <laughs> no offense, but I don't trust the guy. Kevin's like, "You want to? I'm sure it's a heavy chest." Oh, 10 pounds. You want to help me bring it back? Yeah, that's that's why I'm going. All right. Is everyone else just going to stay in town? Yeah, I'm going to hang out with the caravan with the wheels. What are you talking about? <laughs> Snatch. Oh. <laughs> I know, it's been a while. Now, huh? With that, the uh, Varician man uh, leaves to go back to his car uh, to go back to his group and get on out. He hops on a horse and rides out. He's probably... Uh, they're going to have like a Varician gypsy party or something? Because I want to mm -hmm. go. go. Like party. I'm going to leave all my values I'll behind. Remember now. that uh, he still has Mark of Justice on him. Damn it. He can't lie to us. <laughs> <laughs> I, hope it, I hope a situation never comes up in which you need him, though, idea. Yeah, well... We'll, I hope we'll it does. Why would he lie to his cohort person? All right. No, are you actually going to try and bug this uh, Varician gentleman? Well, if they're going to just have like a party, you know, I want to go party. But if not, you know, what is? Well, you could ask. Hey, you guys going to do anything again? You guys got anything going on tonight? He looks at you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I met some Varicians back in Managamar, and uh, they, they they seemed like they they had a good time every night. I was wondering if you guys were. Are same. you talking to him in Taudang? Yes. So he looks at I you. Speak that. He's like, okay. I'm gonna speak to him in Scald. <laughs> he looks at you oddly and just trots off, leaving you in town. Racist. <laughs> uh -huh. Racist. You don't speak the same language. I speak common. I speak. He doesn't speak common. I speak platinum. Ah, the it was universal language. It was <laughs> clear that this Varician did not speak uh, common or as it's known. Does he speak Thessalonian? You could try. I'm going to speak Thessalonian at him. Hey! He rides off. Eh, what a bitch. How about Elvin? You Hello! <laughs> nope, the native people here, as uh, he's one of them, only speaks Varician. Varician. All right, so as Kevin and Rico leave to get ready or uh, to get the gold, the money, and bring it back, which I've already reflected in everyone's inventory, uh, that leaves the three of you. Well, the four of you, including Satchel. I've hey. uh, already subtracted my gold that I was uh, giving to them. By the way, perfect. So this is what's what's party hard, man. Uh, let's see, Satchel uses. Two one-handed weapons. Weight uses his two and a bow. Mean health and both uses two handed weapons. What does Zell Truth use? A throwing dagger, right? <laughs> she uses potions. A throwing dagger and bombs. Okay. Bomb, uh, bomb, bomb, bomb. The gloves of snatch arrow would be good for you because it'll allow you to uh, catch arrows out of the air without having to fucking take a beat or anything. Could be useful, I guess. So it basically negates uh, attacks against her. Alright, hey, uh... Arrows and thrown weapons and stuff, so... Opinion from you guys. I'm trying to figure out if I should save up for more armor or if I should get um, boots of speed because the boots of speed would be freaking amazing. I think uh, what you why... want. Huh? Why would boots of speed be amazing for you? Because I'd get two more arrows. So I'd One have more five. arrow. No, two. How do you figure? I put it in Tier Lab and it gives me two more. <laughs> uh, no. Oh, you got Hero Labbed. <laughs> I'm assuming it's right. Um, pay spell for 10 rounds a day. Does not need to be consecutive. Pathfinder. Hey. Oh. I'm looking at a guide also saying that they all they got two more arrows from it. All right, so making, at tenth level I get five level one followers. Dude, I'm gonna have a whole like freaking posse. 
Uh, what's your uh, attack, base attack right now? Uh, B A B. Where is that? Uh, shit, where is that? Does anybody know where it is on? Oh, eight plus nine. I'm thinking that it's probably because it bumps you up over the uh, the limit. I know doing... it doesn't work that because it's not a bonus to your B A B. Okay. Well, I'm seeing two things that are saying the same thing. So I'll explain. One. Just you just have to tell me how it works. All when right. Making a me... full attack action, a hasted creature may make one extra attack with one natural or manufactured weapon. Haste, haste. Are you in dungeon? Are you in 3.5 and not Pathfinder? No, I'm in Pathfinder. If I equip haste, I get an extra attack, and it per- improves my attack. Um, let me see here. Does it stack with this? Nope. Honestly, guys, I recommend that we like rest up. Because I think we're if we're going to be going into this forest, we want to want to be well rested. What, when do I get an extra another attack, a third attack, just for my BAB or whatever? Eleven. Uh, oh. ten. Ten. Okay. No, well, it's guy, eleven. Level eleven. Why is it right, well, eleven? Then that would at, be eleven, six, and one. I'm looking at this guide, and it has mm-hmm. normally this guy would get four arrows at level twelve. So he says with the boots, the speed, he gets six arrows. And it's like the same build I'm pretty much doing. And this is for Pathfinder. Yeah, you just have to find the real reason why it works that way. Uh, okay. I don't think it works like that, but okay. What do you mean? But like you have to figure you... out why it gives you that. Just because you know it's supposed to doesn't mean you know how. All you have to do is find the rule that says that and it it's works like... that way. It's like if a cop pulled me over and tried to give me a speeding ticket. It's like, well, I don't, I'm not aware of that speeding ticket law. You're gonna have to show me in the book. Well, I'm the GM, so you have to show me. I'm the cop, so you have to like tell me what, how the rule works. I'm the law. I am the law. I am the law. Uh, okay, I'll have to research that. But for now, I'm assuming that's correct. I am not. <laughs> well, I need. Another 4,000 gold anyway, so it's kind of moot at this point if I'm going to save up for it. <laughs> you said moot. moot. <laughs> I mean, if I get the if I get a plus two chain mail, mithril chain mail, that set me back 8,000, and and uh, I would have three more AC, which I probably need. I don't know. I only have 21 AC. So I'm trying to figure out if I should do that first or go for the boots first. Yeah, but it's not important right now. It kind of is. Because I could, you know, could I buy the, the chain shirt here in this town anyways? A what? A plus two mithril chain. No. You know. <laughs> plus two anything. <laughs> okay, that's what I figure. Okay, well, we'll tackle it later, plus I guess. Plus two fishing pole, maybe. <laughs> cool, thanks. The pace, you're good. Two attacks per round. I'm not seeing. I'm seeing 3.5 give two attacks per round, all over the place. I'm not. Maybe it's well. I have many shot. It, it has to stack with something. It has to stack with like many shot or so, I don't know something. Uh, let's see what many shot. Uh, Money shot. A rapid shot. I can't remember which is which. Mini shot is multiple arrows. Rapid shot is multiple attacks. Yeah, this sounds this sounds way more like a three point five thing than Pathfinder. I know three point five when Pathfinder did the haste spell, it added it only the extra it. attack. When, yeah. Wait, let me let me look at this. I don't want you to look Wait, at it. Wait, is my mini shot? We're making a full attack action. Your first attack fires two arrows. If it hits, both arrows hit. Blah blah blah. So you get an extra attack there. So that's two attacks for your first attack. So you have one, two. Then your second attack, which would be three. Uh, rapid shot. We can full attack action. Rico, leave, leave it. Leave it to him to figure out. This will do him good. 
So uh, this will be good for him. We've already well, answered it. He's using the wrong source book. <laughs> I just I just figured it out. So I have three attacks right now, but that's four arrows because the first arrow is uh, you know this whatever the many shot, mm-hmm. and then you get another attack. With for five spin. arrows. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I would have five arrows. Correct. Four, Four attacks, attacks five, arrows. five arrows. Yeah, that's what so I was looking at wrong. Oh, so it wasn't even wrong. You just misread it, basically. Yeah. You misread Four what attacks, was giving five you. arrows. Yeah, that's exactly what I re- where I was going with that. So yeah, I, I'll probably just save up for these because I mean, or do you think I, I should get more AC? Uh, you don't get attacked very often. Yeah, I mean you're supposed to be in the back behind everybody, so. Not anymore. <laughs> yeah, because you do, you're, you got this magic feat now, and you're going to be in the thick of things, getting your ass kicked. Yeah. Uh, well, he can provide stuff in. Com- he can't provide flanking. Yeah, he he can now. No, he can't. He still flanking. doesn't provide. He he, he provides flanking because. Oh yeah, he- that's right. He does provide flanking. You're right. Yeah. Yeah, he he posted about that, which I think. So what's what's everybody's AC right now? I know Satchel's is like twenty two, I think. I think mine's the lowest. What's yours? Nineteen. No, mine. Oh wow, yours is super low. Yours goes up when I rage. And I declare you as my guardian, or as my yeah. guardian you. So the mine goes. But it goes up by like one, right? Yeah, and if I take next level of Elf and Guard, it goes up by plus two, and then mine goes down oh. by minus two. So. It, I I also have. Uh, just basically a plus one breastplate, and that's all I'm wearing. Plus one. So, so no one's giving a crap about AC. It sounds like. Well, uh, I intend to when we get a place where we can spend money on upgrading my breastplate. It's just uh, I need. Back and it shoots up when I start drinking all my stuff. More, <laughs> for fifteen hundred more gold, I can get plus two to my breastplate. All uh, right. So actually, you, right. Malin let you know what he does have available in town. Okay. Now, these are anything less than 550 gold, you have a 75% chance of finding it. But there's a set of special items that are guaranteed. That's just given that it's a small place. These rotate out like monthly, but... Uh, okay. Oh, uh, oh my wand is done, isn't it? Yes. I need to take that off my character sheet. Oh, do you want to buy another one? Uh, I did, but you you just said it's uh, under. How much is the one normally? Seven fifty. He'll make one. If you give him time, he can make that wand. He'll need a day, right? Mm, something like that. I'm, I'm not I'm not hip on the creation yeah. rules. Uh, Sweet. But anyways, he has a few items. That are inter- uh, interesting to him. Um, yes, it'll be fly. Right okay, but he's looking over. Uh, he's like, he has a few items. Let me bring them out. He has this. He has a cloudy drought that smells like rotting fish, and that would be a potion of remove fear, which is only fifty gold, but it's guaranteed to be there. I'll buy it. A bubbling silver liquid contained in a tapered copper flask, a potion to stabilize. He has a scroll of fog cloud, and then his pride and joy, which he'll never part with unless you guys really ponied up a lot of gold, but he has a pair of sniper goggles. It's an ornate set of glasses taken uh, taken from some crypt as he tells you a story about just some adventuring, but he'd be willing to part with it, but none of you can afford it. It's probably the most valuable thing in town right now. Isn't that like 10,000 gold or something? 20,000. 20,000 gold. My bad. Let me, let me look this up. Uh, leather strap attached to a bulbous lens allows the wearer to fit them to his head. The wearer is going to make range sneak attacks from any distance instead of the normal 30 feet. When making range sneak attacks within 30 feet, the wearer gains plus two attack attack bonus on each sneak attack damage die. So not useful for anyone. Oh, well, Satchel, if he just takes picks up a, a short bow. Would not, worth, not worth it for him to spend 20,000 gold. Well, who said anything about spending anything? This is uh, this is Satchel we're talking about. 
Satchel would rob them blind and not even feel with a tinge of guilt about it. Let's see, who is Aristil's planar ally? I I have no idea. Stag. Yeah, I'm sure a very, very bad planar ally would come after you. Not, not good. Okay, so let's rest up and uh, wait for this stuff to get back, and then we'll. Oh, I'm not. I'm not telling you to to (laughs) steal them or anything. I'm just saying, you know, that's fucking something I'd I'd see Satchel doing. (laughs) No problem. Alrighty, so you do rest up. And the rain continues on throughout the night. I'm going to ask the bartender guy, the innkeeper guy. I'm like, hey, is this rain, like, is this normal? And I'm like, well, about yeah. two months from now it would be normal. Came early this year. All right. Kayvan and Rico return out of the rain with their chest of platinum and distribute it to everyone. <laughs> Alright, gentlemen, why don't you come over here by the fire and get, you know, get dried off. <laughs> Alright, so people gather around, and it's a simple end, but a bit more, a couple people have actually came out from the town to celebrate just the new the news returning from Fort Rannick. But um, with no, with most of the with nearly all the black arrows being dead, business is still low. This place, uh, this inn caters to them and not necessarily the locals. The locals don't drink as much. So which cave in replies? Um, so do we have a plan? It's a pretty ugly bog out there. I know that. What's well, plan for you? is to polish my armor in the morning and <laughs> Oh, magic item creation is actually pretty nifty. If I play another Pathfinder game, I'm probably going to use them at some point. <clears throat> Takes a long time. Yeah, but it's cool stuff. And there's been times where we've had, you know, days and days of downtime. And for a thousand gold per day with eight hours of work per day. So, what's the plan? Well, the plan is in the morning we leave and we go find the commander guy in the whispering, the willowing, whatever. The undead, uh... Yeah, undead lady person. Yeah, we should uh, go in with a better plan than that. I think it's a good plan, because I listened to your plan, Nathan, on the recording, and you're stupid. <laughs> what? I don't even remember what plan, what? Yeah, I don't remember that either. All plan. I remember is that you're a little girl, and you're whining about everything, and we'll be fine. Yeah. So your plan is to not plan? My plan is to walk up in there and look for him. Well, if whatever undead thing um, is as powerful or close to as powerful as um, what what is she called a uh, freaking what is she called? I can't remember. A nymph. A nymph. If she's if whatever is is anywhere near that powerful, we're gonna just wipe the party, man. And guess what? Then we wipe, but I don't think that's gonna happen. I got a feeling that if she's undead, something bad happened over there. Okay, so let's go over there and let's solve the bad problem. Is is there anything we can do for ba- magical protection? Because I'm assuming that's what we're gonna need. No. You know we got magical protection. It's called a sword and armor. <laughs> oh God. No, so it's Kevin's like, hey, hey, good one. Yeah. Shoot you with a couple fingers. That's my cohort. Yeah, got my back. He's my silent Okay, my silent so dog. seriously, <laughs> is there anything we can pick up in town that'll help with this? With oh, potions man. or something? As Possibly. you say around the fireplace, yeah. As you're saying around the fireplace, I don't know. Honestly, Wait. Waith, I think we'll be okay. 
Okay, I understand your lack of opinion. Now let's move on and try to get some stuff to help with this. What you can go to this, you can go to the general store, Nathan, and you can buy some tampons. So if you start bleeding, <laughs> Kevin asks, so. "What's a tampon?" <laughs> <laughs> That's an odd word. It's a girl thing. What does a potion of daylight do? I mean, makes daylight. I, yeah, you drink In it in your and belly. <laughs> Like, I don't understand how that one's supposed to work. It's help your indigestion. Uh, a potion of blur might be useful. Because in the day... It's 300 gold. Uh, you can drink a potion. You can drink... There's a potion of daylight. <laughs> yeah, there's a potion of daylight. I don't understand what... It would, like, do you drink it and then touch it and then... then do oh, daylight no, you, you start glowing. You glow. <laughs> That's awesome. That is hey, not. She's she's what glowing. I she's glowing. <laughs> so you're she's radioactive. Preg she's preggers. Radioactive. Except, yeah, except instead of green, you're just fucking bright yellow. Do, can we do like a not like a knowledge roll for the undead and what would be good for, against undead? Uh, that, uh, yeah, that'd probably yes, be. Yeah. You know what's good against yeah, undead? Undead is knowledge religion. Channel positive right. energy is really Everyone. good against undead. Oh, I can add a armored kilt to my armor, and I'd uh, still move at the same speed and get a plus one armor and plus one. I uh, would go for twenty gold. Plus one or minus one max dex. Not that I have the dex to worry about that. Oh, natural twenty. Take that. Is it all right if I add that on there? Yeah, get an armored kilt added on. It's twenty gold. I think they probably have that. The blacksmith. Twenty gold? Yes. I mean, that's not magical. Yeah, that'd be fine. All right, let me add that on there. Yay! All right. Wait, Sif, if anything that would be e uh, easiest thing, I'm surprised you don't have, would probably be a protection from evil potion. <laughs> oh, uh, we were rolling, and I, what is it? Uh, religion, right? Yeah. Yeah, I already got it. So. Protection from evil would be probably the most obvious thing, I guess. I don't so know. buy yourself a potion and quit being a girl. What about holy water? Holy oh, water I... would... I mean, holy water I... is not as would be as useful for what you're trying to accomplish. Can like somebody like bless my arrows or something? I, I can make uh, holy water, and then uh, you can tie the holy water vials onto the end of your arrows and shoot them at them. Yeah, that would work. I don't know right? if that'll work, but it sounds reasonable. <laughs> sounds unreasonable. <laughs> I mean, role-wise, role the only thing you're really looking for, Nathan, is protection from evil, like a potion of protection from evil. And the reason is, first, yeah, you get a plus two bonus to AC, but you also get a plus two bonus on saves. Assuming it's evil. Against attacks or effects created by evil creatures, which is nearly every undead thing out there. So that, in that sense, your will save goes up plus two. All right. How much well, does it plus... cost? Well, oh. you have to ask Malin if they're available. All right. Do you happen to be at this bar right now? No. Oh. That doesn't happen. One d twenty. Oh, uh, what armor are you wearing, Wait? Uh, plus one chain shirt. And would it bother you if that went up to a medium armor instead of a light? No, it doesn't bother me. Alright, then you could also get an armor kilt for plus one uh, to AC, minus one to dex, max dex. Oh, that would affect him. The, the minus dex would definitely affect him. No, no, it's a minus one to max dex that he can have, which for oh, a chain okay. shirt I think is pretty, pretty high. I think he's at it. What's your dex right now? Uh, 20... Two. Yeah, that probably. What's your? Oh, yeah, you're, you're. They're... You're already hurting your AC based on armor, but that's fine. Yeah. That, that twenty-two is freaking ridiculously high. Yeah, I'm getting three AC from this chain shirt. And it's hurting your AC probably from your. No, uh, he can have four AC from the chain shirt, and then. Uh, four AC from Dex instead of five, so it's he's still benefiting from it. Yeah. 
He would have to go down to something. No, he gets a six on his dex bonus to AC. He's losing two. Yeah, he's losing two, but he would still have he's higher gaining, with the... He's gaining three, yeah. yeah. It goes up one. <laughs> Assuming you want to wear a kilt. And then the kilt would neutral out, actually. He would lose one AC to it from dex and gain one, one AC armor. Hmm. All right, but anyways, let's uh, focus. Uh, yes, that potion will be available. Cool. How, okay, oh, I just don't uh, know how much it is. Fifty. Fifty. She was, so she just picks them up. Yeah, you can pick up one. It's fine. You can pick up she, four if you wanted. Yeah, we should probably have one for everybody, just in case we have some crazy boss. No one else uh, is gonna want it. You're just keeping it for yourself. I don't want it. Spend the 200 gil gold, get the four potions. What else are you going to use that money for? I have a magic circle against evil. Good space. <laughs> All creatures All right. within the uh, area gain the effects of protection from evil, and evil summoned creatures cannot enter the area either. Creatures in the area who later enter the area receive only one attempt to suppress the effects that are controlling them. What about Zell? <laughs> well, okay, I'll have to get that close to such things. <laughs> That's what the bombs are for. <laughs> bomb, 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 bomb. So as you're sitting around the inn, uh, Kaven gets a weird look in his eyes looking at Zell. And he heard the story of how you got here. And he's like, you know why the Hell Knights sent her along, don't you? Babysit us? <laughs> no, really, that's why they did. No, 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 no. To get rid of her. Well, why would they do that? Like uh, my family heritage comes from Chelyax, and hey, there's old or, uh, there's old wives' tales about half about the tieflings from out there. You know, Chelyax. I don't know if you guys have been out that way, but they don't like tieflings. Didn't like your kind around right here. No, no, they don't. They represent a corrupt. Chelyax worships de uh, worships devils, you know, but. Osmodius, he sees hum uh, Osmodius as he teaches humans are a corruption, and nothing represents the debasement of the greatness of fiends more than a ha more than something less than a half fiend. No offense, Zell. They uh -huh. do they do worship Osmodius, but doesn't mean like you know anything. Besides, well, Kate. they hate they would ha they would hate well they would hate they hate uh, tieflings down there. Well, everybody hates tieflings, so what's the difference? <laughs> <laughs> that is such a true fact. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm like, you know who doesn't hate tieflings? All four of us. I'm, that's all He's because like, I do awesome stuff. <laughs> I'm just I'm saying. Blowing half the enemies away. Kaven, I'm not paying you to think. I'm, or I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm not, Kaven, I'm not, I'm not saving your life so you can speak. <laughs> um, Kaven, you should go for the armor. You should just cut out his tongue and get it over with. No, no, I like his tongue intact, if you know what I mean. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Too much information. That, that falls under interesting thing, just because, yes, uh, tieflings are not respect... Are, contrary to what you would think in a place that wor uh, worships devils, tieflings are not appreciated there. I wonder why. Because they're seen as corruption of devils. Or maybe it's raising up the, raising up the imperfection of humans. Nope, only goes the one way. Oh, okay. They're bigots. Well, yeah, they're like Sarah... For Winter Nights, too? They're like, they're like Sarah Palin. Is there a tiefling in there? Yeah, it's like yeah, one of the main the characters, man. Second character you pick up is a tiefling rogue. Wait, did you do the math? On uh, potions? Yeah. Yeah, I just ended up getting two. Did you take out the yeah. platinum for that? That would be ten platinum? Yep, sure All did. All right. So you guys sleep it off. You're able to just sleep it here next to the hearth in the in the tavern room as things are quiet enough. Bartender goes to bed I got behind the bar. I got a room for a reason, man. You, you know? got a room here? Yeah, we all got rooms here. We've had rooms here. You don't have to bot. Well, you ah! Wow. Oh, Oh. <laughs> yeah. All right. 
Why morning so comes with the rain. Sorry, it's my the rain The rain actually tone. clears up. What's the plan? Morning comes. Well, we should get all ready for you get all ready for another day. Saddle up and let's roll out. Taking the horses. Well, yeah, I got a horse. Okay. I got a war horse, and I got a horse for Haven, my light horse. <laughs> uh, so no more prepare preparing. Unless you want to prepare something. Well, hold up. Let's let's let's, let's, let's declare this place a save point. So if we wipe. <laughs> We are dead and have to start over. I think that if we wipe, we should start back in Sandpoint. <laughs> <laughs> Do everything different. Have to, we have to all play the, uh, the exact same uh, class. <laughs> it's like that really bad Star Trek episode, uh, Next Generation, where they all have the loop, the time loop, over and over and over again, the Enterprise gets destroyed. <laughs> yeah. I mean, the really, the really good Groundhog Day episode? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you settle up. Um, he begins. Caven begins training his horse as he's quite skilled with riding and handling animals. You see, Caven carries a large, heavy crossbow on his back. His main weapon. So you have speed reloading or whatever. Uh, he has master crossbowmen or something. Yeah, so. Loading his uh, heavy crossbow is a free action. Wow, that's <laughs> cool. <laughs> that's, that's nice. <laughs> it's almost like a repeating crossbow. If it's a free action, does that mean that he can make multiple attacks based on his BAB? <laughs> yep. Yeah. Yeah. Well, he's a level six. He has. He has uh. So it's he has that. He ha and he has rapid shot and gravity bow. <laughs> Oh my goodness! <laughs> That's pretty awesome. So at level six right now, he can fire three bolts around. Wow. That's impressive for a crossbow. That's an impressive for a cohort, man. <laughs> yeah. That too. Me and him are gonna sit in the back. No, no, oh, well, no, I guess no. it'd be not me anymore. He hangs out with wherever I tell him to go. All right, so you saddle up on your horses, Halfling, uh, and then Satchel on his little horse. His little pony. We should get Satchel a riding dog. You know what? Actually, I don't think he ha Wait, does he have a horse? You got the horses for free. No, you don't have a free horse. He's riding with Kaven. <laughs> Actually, can he ride with you, Helga? You have the bigger horse. No, I don't want him on me. He has a weird creepy masks. <laughs> Fair enough. Stuff him in a saddlebag, and he can just sit in there and let him out of it. He's been like, like holding on to one of the horse legs this whole time. Is there a riding now dog? What? Is there riding dogs around here? <laughs> Get him a riding dog. Oh, was the uh, I I got the wand right. Uh, spend the you have to spend the full seven fifty, but you'll get the wand. All right. We have one of those donkeys that fly to you at, for Dota for Dota Two to give you your items. Now what? Head off to the the whispering thingy. Part of the woods. How do you get there? I don't know. Let's look at a map, huh? Map. Mm. It's a map, it's a map, it's a map. Well... Wait a sec, you don't have a map of the area. Yeah, we did. Where'd you get a map of the area? We got one at freaking uh, Magnamar before we left. How do you think we got here? <laughs> <laughs> no, that's not how you got here. A boat brought you here. Yeah, and we got a map when we were there. <laughs> I did buy a map. I did. One at the general store, remember? There you go. Your map's back. You're such a map Jew, Nathan. Jeez. Mm -hmm. So is it in the Creek Woods, or is it in uh, which one? Which woods is it in? No, it's east, isn't it? From uh, Fort Rainick. I don't remember the name of the place. That I don't either. Going. Wait, the Shimmerines? There's a White Willow right there. Is that where we're yeah, going? Yeah, that that's yeah, the that's White Willow. Where we're going. 
That's okay. what we're going. So I, I remember White Willow, so we're going that way. We're gonna one of the go words, right, in the Mike? middle of we're gonna go in the middle of this the oval. How do you get there? Well, we... now do you want to go down and around, or do we want to take a ferry uh, across the little location, or do we want to come up and ride around the uh, the road up there to across the bridge, and then come back down and around to yeah. uh, Bitter it's... Hollow? I yeah, mean... I, yeah, I agree. Let's do that. Up by the Grawl Crossing road bridge thing, and then down, and then up and around, and then to the Bitter Hollow, and then we cross the water there, and then go down. Okay. You um. Also, you could take a ferry across this little part of the river if you didn't want to head uh, all the way up to the bridge. Either but way. don't we have to go stop by Fort Rennick and no, give them the messages and stuff, and then head across? No, you, there's nothing that drop. You have no need to drop by Fort Rannick at this point. We're good for now. All right. You know Shallow. what? We could go up to the uh, the Hook Mountain Clan home. Yeah. Isn't that the people that were murdering the people at Fort Rannick? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah. We, we gotta go stop up there eventually. But let's let's figure out what happened to the commander first. <laughs> all, right, all right. I think the plot hook for the next adventure is in White Willow. Yeah, probably. Meta game. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe no. Just... Is what goes after Hook Mountain Massacre? I don't know. I don't know. I the name of the All I know is I, I saw I saw like the the anniversary edition at Barnes and Noble, like the complete bound one. I was like, hey, cool. Too bad it costs Hook like Mountain, fifty bucks. Hook Mountain does stand. You do see Hook Mountain because it's several thousand feet in at altitude. Wherever you go, it lies in the it lies to the northwest. Snow uh, covers its top. You know, at some point, you'll have to go to Hook Mountain to regulate. It sounds like a euphemism. So these woods are they like useful and popular to people around here? Uh, roll or ask. Uh, uh, let me. No, 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 no. I can roll and then ask. Okay. <laughs> I suddenly fine. know that these woods are awesome. Uh. All right, I have knowledge local. Two. No one knows anything off the top of their head about this place. Except for the Kriegs. I want to ask Caven? Uh, Caven? 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 Yes. The Craven Caden. <laughs> Caven actually has, like, knowledge geography. Would oh, like wow. That, would that work? So Caven uh, thinks about it and it's like, we could ask the ferry captain. They take uh, people across the river right here, so a couple of traders from Bitter Hollow can come through. Yeah, let's do that. You find a ferry captain, and he's like, ah, I'm... You find one of the ferry captains, the ones that give this place its name, and it's like, oi! Just kidding. Um, it's like, yeah, I go up... I sometimes go up the river in that area... I don't know why you're taking. Why you want to take a horse? It's all marshland. You'll you'll sink faster. Some parts of it are up to your head in water. Hmm. So, it's it's not a. Yeah, the old Santos Forest across its trees, but between there and the river, it's all swamp and bog. How would you suggest getting us and our horses uh, across there? Well, I wouldn't take a horse. I'd take a canoe. Do you know if there's any canoes for sale around here? Or for rent? Rent a canoe? Uh, what do you think of... What kind of thing is that? Who would ever rent a canoe? Uh, <laughs> us? You can't live in it, so why would you rent it? Can we borrow? Do you have a canoe we could borrow? Let's see. Is... Um, is there a canoe you can borrow? We did to save Turtleback Ferry. Is there a canoe we can borrow from somewhere around here? Uh, yeah, I imagine there. I imagine it's not. Uh, 
not a difficult to buy a canoe. You go to the uh, to the little part where there's plenty of ships, and th there's people who have canoes, and they uh, look you over and look at all your weapons and armor and knowing what you have been through and are wondering if a rental policy would even be functional. <laughs> so I guess our well, horse, uh, how our about horse we is hire, here. How about we hire uh, somebody to take us through there and then they'll just be transportation. Like, And they can act as a guide as well. Or to which uh, the ferryman like pulls off his hat and sort of sounds it's like, oh, you won't find anyone who would be willing to go into the Shimmer Glens. What about from Bitter Hollow? And I was like, oh, no, that's why the people in Bitter, Ho uh, Bitter Hollow made the Wicker Walk, so they could walk across and not have to go through that area. That's okay, because uh, I've got a profession sailor, so... Okay, a canoe is like... The canoe will be like 50 gold. Okay, so, so uh, Satchel will pay for it. <laughs> yeah, one, two, three, not it, not paying for it. Okay, sad Gross, guys. <laughs> How about I just take one platinum from everyone? How about you just take five from Satchel? Okay. <laughs> uh, He's not he doesn't care. He's, he went to the casino last night anyway. <laughs> so the money is exchanged, and you're able to get a canoe. The, both, uh, the horses are tied up and left to the area. Damn it. So I guess like I'm like okay I'm the I'm the I'm the ship captain the canoe captain. Uh, I would actually stable our horses with the uh, inn and then pay them to care for them. Okay, and it is actually less of a canoe and more of a rowboat. I am Just the so you're all e able to easily pile the six of you are all easy able to easily pile in there, and it will be safe enough to travel across the. Uh, it's big enough that it will be a. On a light day, it's. He looks at uh, the ferry captain. Looks at the uh, the rain coming down. And is like, ah, not much wind with this rain. Uh, you'll have to do a bit of shove. Uh, you'll have to do a bit of shoveling to keep keep some water out of it. But you shouldn't have any trouble with waves or anything crossing. Thank you, what ferry about boat captain. Just taking canvas, hooking it, and tying it to the uh, edges, and then onto uh, sticks that we fucking chop off trees and. Setting it up over here for our heads so we don't get rained on. You really don't want to get rained on, do you? Dude. I, I don't want water to fill up the boat when we get out of it and go somewhere Adam, and sink. I, I know this is a kind of a shock to you, but see, Zach and me have experience being in the rain and being in the rain and then sucking in the rain. And any time when you're not in the rain, it's good. It's better. Yeah. Do, I mean, I don't know if, you, if you've ever felt this, Adam, but, you know, having w wet stuff, like, go down your butt crack all the time is not exactly the most fun feeling in the world. So, yes, any plenty of time where we can not be in the rain is the best. All right. So, the you'll Bes hook up some stuff to your robo to keep the rain off of you. Besides, Caven doesn't like to have to, like, put anti-rust cream on my armor all the time. <laughs> Why don't we just scotch guard him? Holiday. Well, we take goblin lard and we, you know, smear it all over it. And <laughs> yeah, I absolutely did. Probably the most miserable times of my in my military career involved me being in the rain. In the rain, in the middle of the fucking winter. In the <laughs> in a on a mountain, foxhole. in a mountain somewhere in Afghanistan. So yeah, you know, the the rain sucks. It makes everything wor like a thousand times worse. I mean, it's great when you're inside and you're looking out and it's, you know, nice sound and everything, as long as you don't have to go in it and deal with it. Yeah, and, like, muck around and stuff. Yeah, so, yeah, it's not very fun, Adam, so I'm with Scrove on this one. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you row across. Okay, we're rowing now. I'm, I'm banging a drum. Row. Like, like, like in, uh, was it, like in Ben-Hur? <laughs> I feel like uh, it's been ripped off a few times, too. All right. As you get closer to the Shimmer Glens, the rain dies down, and you actually get a clear sky for uh, for two days, and you I, I, paddle across. The one time I get to use my profession, sold my profession sailor. 
And as you clear, as eventually the water, and it, there becomes a very obvious demarcation where reeds are, and you end up going down these water channels into the swamp. Dude, we should got one of those airboats, like in freaking Everglades. <laughs> power along. All right. And, and then once you uh, as you get deeper in, as you guys start paddling, as you get deeper in, the shimmer glims themselves quickly grow tangled and densely packed. Once you travel the side of from the edge, and then there's narrow channels to navigate. But where are you going? We're gonna travel using our navigation skills to travel into the center of the oval that you had in the map. All right. Now, as you go deeper in it, there's uh, trees on the swamp edges and I got survival, dense, if that counts. Uh, dense wood. Uh, I'll see if I'll need you to roll something, but... Let's see... Not the Joss theme. As you make your way through, twisted black trees rise wretchedly from shallow pools, seeming to have lurched from land. Their arthritic branches curl in the miserable, tortured claws. The sun seems to scorn this place, and a cold, dark mist looms within the canopy of bone-bare branches above. An unnatural wind flows from the glens, and shadows dance in the dark mist within. These... There definitely seems to be some sort of corruption on the land. Yep. Should I note roll knowledge something? Um, well, this is probably what we were seeing and feeling through the, uh, scrying. Yeah, I know. So as you move through, uh... There's definitely... You see dying birds twitch in the shallows on the uh, many dying birds twitching in the shallows of the water as you paddle through and see slithering things with too many eyes squirt away through the water. That's creepy. Is this gonna be a ma mammy girl situation? Nathan, are you wearing a parka? Wait, what? <laughs> I have to look at this. Ah, uh, possibly. Is it raining in the house? It's not that cold out. <laughs> and I'm just cold. All right, as you're paddling through, then uh, you hear the voice of Satchel, and as you're just paddling, trying to navigate, give me a, I guess, survival for navigation. I got a plus nine. I'll assist. Or not. Yes! <laughs> We're gonna get lost in here. Hey, trophies <laughs> got Oh, uh, you should probably get a, like, a, a little bonus for having the map. <laughs> yeah, we got the map. The map doesn't cover this it, area. Not that it would matter much. Helga assisted me. <laughs> Alright, as you look around. So a 16. <laughs> as you're going deeper, as uh, Nathan leads you along, nothing but a chill silence surrounds you. Oh, lovely. Sending something to Waif. Is this gonna be like one of those, like, the manor place where we had all those creepy apparitions and stuff? I think the, the music's reminding you of that. I don't know, just creepy <laughs> eyes and dead birds and shit, you know? <laughs> yeah. This is also the music that was playing. I'm getting, like, fungal apparition stuff. Oh, oh, I could, uh, summon, like, a Mayfit and help us out. 
ah, I'm turning around, I'm like, uh, uh, I, I turn around and point towards, uh, the, what? You turn around and point? Yeah, it, what I you, just saw. Uh, what do you say? Like, uh, oh, there's, uh, there's, um, dark road figures that are reaching for us. I think he's getting seasick. There are dark road figures reaching for us where? Yeah, you see him reach and point behind the boat. Alright, that was... Does anybody see... Do they see it too? Well, I'm waiting for someone to do... They, I, you just described something. I'm waiting for other people to describe something. I guess I'll look. Let's, uh... Let's... Let's... <laughs> through the water with something. Because I, I... I'm fairly certain that if he sees it, it's there. So you're going to stab your spear like a... What are you doing? Uh, let's just, you know... Fucking... Throw holy water at it. <laughs> Chuck it Somebody have... I have three holy water still. You're going to throw so... a holy water? Wait yeah, a minute. I, I don't want to... Doesn't somebody have light? Oh, yeah, yeah. I can do that. <laughs> Why don't you cast light on my uh, arrow and I'll shoot it and see if it sticks into something. It sticks into yeah, darkness. We can just cast light and uh, just drop it in. That that makes more sense. Good thinking. Yeah, let's do that. So I'm light. So you, and you'll, you fire an arrow. Roll to attack. All right. Attacking the darkness. So I guess I'm just doing a single attack. Let me take off all this. Extra just roll a twenty. Stuff. Yeah. I don't care about the bonuses right now. Just roll a twenty. It probably won't be that high. I'm able. If, it, if you're ever like figuring out bonuses, just roll a twenty, and I can probably figure out if it hits anything. Does that hit? You fire an arrow, and then as the light goes, it's just you see. Uh, you you don't see any apparitions, but you see nothing more than horribly twisted black trees. Ah. Nathan, but where, it, where, you, where you see the arrow hit, the your arrow strikes the tree. Yeah, but this. Dark red blood begins pouring out of it, and it seems to cackle in the wind. The tree ain't right, man. The tree ain't right. So let's just keep rowing. And the, and the tree's meowing. Give me a will save, Ooh. everyone. No. Can I, can I rage first? Nope. Hold on, I'm <laughs> drinking that, that uh, potion. Now <laughs> uh, it's my will at. Yeah, that's what I'm looking for. See, I don't know if this factors in my save. Enchantment? Yeah. Add it. Alright. And then Zell? Why are you super quiet? Yeah, you're so quiet, I can't hear you. Yeah, it sounds like you're in the other room from your mic. <laughs> oh, that was any better now? There we go. Yep. Yeah. Huh, that was weird. Sorry, what? Save. We'll save. We'll save? Okay. Yeah, I got all the tracks with that. Um... All right, wait, you are shaken. You yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> now the actual shaken condition. He's been, sh he's been shaken. So he starts shaking the boat. <laughs> no, dude. Don't rock the boat, rock the boat. Don't rock the boat. <laughs> you're That's... not quite panicked or terrified, but it, it's gotten you a bit. I make okay. I want, for how long? Uh, Ever. <laughs> Forever. <laughs> Like, okay, everybody. Till I say you're no longer shaken. Okay. Like, ladies and gentlemen. Right. Gentlemen. If you continue Thanks. rowing, uh, roll, roll survival again for navigation. Let's just focus on what we're doing, people. Thank God I'm not stirred. Oh, that screws up all my skills. Yes, it does. It screws everything up for you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really good. Alright, oh, well, 26 is good enough. As you go down, you see a flighty blue creature in front of the, uh, behind some woods in the... A what? 
a flighty blue creature. Uh, I don't understand. Some that. woods. What well, is flighty? A... Well, it's both flying and then it's erratic, like flighty. Like, 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 like a bug. We're back at you in the bathroom. I don't understand. I'm sorry. I'm guessing it's a pixie because there's a pixie picture on Nathan's thing. Adam's yes, thing. You do. And then you see coming out of this tree. Oh, this, okay. This okay. male pixie flitter about and flitter in the boat, and then he's uh, about 20 feet away, but he like waves at you, gonna, and like gives a gesture to wave you over. I'm gonna wave back and say, "Row, men, row." Uh, we just resisted something, and is this what caused it? Maybe. We'll find out. We don't know anything happened to us because we resisted. <laughs> so you see uh, this wave. This I'm waste. going to cast Magic Vestment on myself. Okay. Give myself some armor. So you see this wayfishly then human humanoid with gossamer wings, large expressive eyes, long pointed ears, and a diminutive two foot stature. His clothes are rumpled and roll perceptions. I got a bajillion points on that one. <laughs> uh, plus thirteen. <laughs> I'm almost plus 10 right now. Yeah, because you're taking minus 2. So the best one was Rico? Yep. Rico Suave! I got a decent roll for these this last several being, you know, like fucking 6 or 3 or. You've been crying. Why? Because if you if you, if you had I'm to sorry. wear those pants, you know, would you want to cry? <laughs> <laughs> if I was forced to walk around in that, I would. I mean, seriously, I would totally that. cry. So, unlike the wings. flighty uh, pixies that you may have known, if any of you know anything about fey creatures, but as you come up, she's like, as she as you wave up and and the boat pulls closer, and she's like, my mistress, she she is ill. She is very ill. Death would have been a kindness. And we're like, uh, we, kn we know you uh, saw you and her in a vision. Go, go good. I, I thought I felt a presence. This, this land sickens with her heart, and it cannot be cleansed until her misery is purged. I can't do it myself. Please, you must help her. What needs to be done to do that? Y you, are, you are friends with her human lover, yes? Well, we're searching for him yeah. for his uh, friends. It's like, well, well, then he wouldn't have wanted her like this. I can take you to her. Maybe you can do something. I've tried everything to cure her heart, but but to no avail. She wails and moans and white willow, and the trees and plants and nixies and frogs and everything are dying or worse. I, I can take you there. Please come. All right. We'll do what we can for you. And her. We shall help you, my winged male man guy. Man guy? He's still, um, uh, Satchel is still, like, 50% taller than this guy. <laughs> Finally, but Satchel like, feels like a real man. Yes, and he, he's like, yes, yes, and he begins to flirt about and bring you closer. Is that really something he should be saying? I don't want him flirting anything about. <laughs> but, uh... <laughs> He grabbed, uh, he begins leading you down, uh, leading you further into the swamp, saving you on the survival thing. But... As you, uh, begin rowing deeper, like, you actually enter, like, a part of the, uh, part of this bog where the pool of water, it stands in a, uh, in this clearing ahead, uh, the water looks clear and refreshing. As the, you're rolling through it, give me a survival check. Oh, yeah. And no, no help. I failed it. <laughs> and it failed it. And Zach did not. <laughs> oh hey, yeah. My survival's decent this time. I don't think uh, back the way we came is the way we should go. All right, but yeah, so you enter this clear body of water. It looks like you can almost look down to, like, 
with the light spell and then everything here, it looks like you could even, like, unlike the murky bog before, it's, you can actually, like, look down at the bottom of this and see it a few feet below you. Oh, nice. There's no algae or larvae in this pool, so there's no no swampness. It's more of a, a pond than it is part of the swamp. Cool. All right. But it definitely does seem to be unnatural compared to the other water you've come, uh, come across. It's completely different. As in, like, you just went from nasty, stinky, fucking infested water right beside you, and then you took a step forward, and it's no longer like that at all. It's like a clear pool. Oh, nice. So oh, this right. is uh, this is your mistress's doing? Ah, uh, yeah. I... The pixie turns around and like forts behind a tree, and then back and back to, and it's like, yes, yes. Uh, this uh, this seems to be, this is the da- this is the damage from her forlorn heart. This water, this is not what water here in my home is like. It looks good. I don't understand why the. Do you want it to look like the pond or the uh, the swamp outside? It's like, uh, uh, and he's like, uh, yes, uh, this, he's like, yes, this this water is not as it should be. Look, look. But, uh, and, he, and he's like, yeah, just pointing at the water. It's like, yes, this is not, uh, this is not the, uh, this is not right water. Okay, so let's go to some right water. Can you describe what it's supposed to look like? What is wrong about it? And as he's like, it, it should, it should be of the wood. It should be of the bog. It, it should have life to it. Some. Was it like poison it... or something? No. It, well, maybe. But uh, he wants it to have the algae and the, the nasty larva and everything in it. That's what he's saying. It's supposed to be more like the other water. And it's completely clear with nothing growing in it. So it may be poison, so don't drink it. Because like, nothing uh... is living in it anymore. I'm like, uh, would pouring holy water in here help? I don't think we have that much boiling holy water. <laughs> well, which, which the pixie gets an odd look on his face. I don't know. Just making suggestions. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Can we? So let's go see your mistress. And the uh, pixie get, does does not a uh, has a weird look on his face because they're not normally religious. Oh. Well, it doesn't doesn't matter if you're re- religious. To, you would understand what uh, that religion's a an actual deal, and because there's actual power coming from them. It's not like our world where you can be an atheist because. No, but it's not. This isn't their world. I, this isn't their world either. They're the creatures of the chaotic. That as Faye, they're creatures of the chaotic first world in which gods really don't rule. Gods restrict to the uh, to the planes and the uh, material world. Had long, they have long given up on the first world. I know nothing about that, so yeah. I mean, yeah, you could try pulling, pouring holy water into it. I wouldn't want to waste it. Just don't drink the water. We're in Mexico, okay? <laughs> Hey Zell, we're talking about weird water. All right, so let's keep going, man. All Where's right, the lady. Oh, is Zell back? 
All right, and yeah, so as you continue rolling, you roll past this pool of water, and the pit pixie can tell, uh, as you, yeah, uh, he eventually, like, as you see him begin shaking, and then he, like, flies over and actually lands in the boat, and he's like, keep rowing. He's on a boat. Yeah, it's going fast. Uh, I want to cast Detect Magic while we're rowing, while they're rowing. <laughs> I'm guessing you're gonna do everything here. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So you you're able to pick up on this first, but uh, as you see it, like ghostly, translucent forms emerge from the trees, and it's all sorts of fae spec uh, in ghostly form, satyrs and grigs and nixies and sprite and other pixies and sprites like him, and they float gently from the swamp around you, and they're and then there's even phantom animals like squirrels and foxes, and they and then about ten feet from the boat, they have like they're like in this revelry dance in March, and you hear laughter as they're uh, running, as they're as they dance around the boat. Even as you move forward, and no matter how fast you row, like it's as if this circle is re uh, reflected around you. Okay, that's creepy. That is very creepy. So they cavort and they cavort and frolic and and march about. Yeah. How and much then, longer till we get to where we're we're going, Pixie? I guess right now it's like, ah, uh, and he's like half a tired flight. Okay. And that means what? <laughs> we'll know when we get there. Silly fairies. How, and then as you get there, this uh, the circle is getting smaller and smaller around the boat. I'm going to go ahead and cast a uh, magic circle against evil on myself. I'm going to go That's sit next to Rico. And... It's, ten feet, it's a 10 feet area around me. No, no, no. I'm just going to go sit in your lap and you hold me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You cast it. And then whatever, like... Evil presence was coming, uh, was approaching the boat. Like the sense of foreboding of this of it goes away, but the shadows continue the dance and dance and get closer until it closes. Uh, like they just stop and they end up like dispersing, passing through you and the boat. They stop and frisk us. And in an unnatural chill of the spectral fae, uh, you feel it on your body, but nothing, nothing of of evil happens to you. Well, that's good. And to which the pixie's like, as you row a bit more, he's like, there, almost there. And deep in the swamp as you're getting there, you actually see finally something that you recognized from the scrying. You come upon a derelict seagoing ship Ooh. hundreds of miles from the Verishian coast here, and the vessel is badly worn and covered in thick green moss, but it's completely intact and is obviously of a seagoing model. Oh, is that the boat you guys went in, you guys found? Yeah, the the ship's there, and it's corporal. It's actually a ship. It's not like a ghost ship or anything like that. But the pixie is like, there, just a, just a little. It's a, the bog. God, it's like, we get out here, and it. Uh, we walk past this, and we will come to the bog. Okay. But yeah, so you get out, and this is the derelict. It's intact. I mean, uh, it doesn't appear to have any holes or anything. Like, you can't see into its cargo hold or anything. It's generally upright. It's just listed about 15 degrees on, on the embankment here. All right. And then, but the pixie seems to be uninterested. He doesn't even really like glance at it. So, what's with the boat? And uh, he, what he turns about? back to you and he's like, "Just showed up." When? When this started? No, before that. It's been here for some time. How long before? 
And he's like, ah. Oh. And he begins, like, scratching his head, trying to figure it out. He's not very... He's like, I'm not... I'm not I'm not very good with... What do you call it? Time? <laughs> uh, how many times did the sun rise and set since it, it showed up? Between the time he showed up and the time... Yeah. This happened. And he's like... As he's like about... He's like, the stars... The stars went away and then a different set of stars came... And then a new set of stars. It's what, a year and a half? Yes, yes. Well, that's a... Okay, well, that, that's a fairly long time. Maybe it has nothing to do with it. I, for one, am not interested in the creepy boat. You gotta admit, though, the creepy boat's interesting. It's interesting, but don't ask me to go get off this creepy boat and go on another creepy boat. Well, you have to get off the creepy boat. You have to walk into where... Okay. So, don't ask me to go into the creepy boat, though. Sorry, guys. <laughs> I don't blame you. So, okay, let's get off. Let's park the boat and, you know, parallel park it and everything. And Parallel All right. park? What? <laughs> All right. Get a combat park the boat. Uh, so we just ram it up on somewhere and leave it. Yeah. Yeah. You're you're able to dock it, and it's mushy ground here, and it comes up to your calves. Though as you're going further, you come across, and you see the woods shaped around you, leading into what it's going to be, which you can only assume is a grove. But immediately outside this grove. You come across a mangled body of a beautiful dryad half protruding from a tree whose limbs have been smashed from the trunk by massive clubs. Nice. So literally it's just her torso without arms and though somehow protruding from this t uh, tree. Like her body? Is it alive? Yeah, it's just her, her upper body. Is it alive? Uh, in a sense. Could I heal it? No. Can you, like, consecrate it or something? Some kind of, like, not it being stuck in a tree? I could consecrate the area. I mean, this, this, this thing is, this thing is freaking dead, okay? So, what's, what's going on here? Is, is the, the tree dead? Is that your mistress? <laughs> the tree's a tree, yeah, silly. Like <laughs> oh, don't, don't go near! Uh, don't go near her. Why? What's wrong with her? As he like looks around, he just looks around and like gets like little scared shivers. All right. Well, I assume that if we go over there, this, that'll attack us. Or the tree is evil and it uh, took in the dryad against its will. I want to go closer to the tree. Gonna oh, get it, I want to get. I want to check it out. <laughs> Alrighty. I'm not gonna touch anything, but I just want to check it out. You know what? Let's tie a rope around you first. If it <laughs> tries to suck you in, like if it uh, a dry, we can pull you back. No, no, no. <laughs> it's okay. I got it. I want to check it out. It's gonna be some poltergeist stuff right here. Yeah, that's like Scott Kenhouse. All right. The body is not moving. Um. Uh, you see Helga approach the tree, and as Helga gets closer, you see like her spine, uh, the spine of the dryad, lurch up into the tree, and see her lips move a little. Uh -oh. But other than that, you can't hear it. And then you see it quickly collapse back down to like where her body is just dead weight uh, hanging from this tree. Oh. Well, Pixie, up. what did she say? I'm going to step away from the tree. The Pixie's like, I didn't hear anything. I heard something. What has she said before? All I know is that the but she said that she should not have fallen in love. Her heart have, her heart brought this upon us. Why won't she let us go? I'm gonna ban you guys from reading. 
Well, he asked what she said, and I told her. I told him. At your delivery? Dude, I'm sorry I'm not a dramatic reader, okay? <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a chemistry teacher, not an English teacher. Just just give it a go. She you, read it, you read it once, you've, you've pre-read it. Okay, go. She should not have fallen in love. Her heart brought this upon us. Why won't she let us go? <laughs> Better. Uh... So, this is probably to do with uh, the captain, most definitely. Mm. All right, you walk a little more, and you come to uh, part of the grove, and Yap's like, I can't go far. Uh, he begins quaking more, and he's like, I can't go any farther. We're here. My lady waits for you within. I dare not go any closer. Okay. East, and then he flitters back behind a tree, and you actually see him cower and, like, creeping sticking his head out and looking at, at the group. Man, what a little bitch. I'm going to start taking my armor off and stuff. You're going to take your armor off? Dude, I'm not going to go in there and like, scare the scare something that's like going to eat me. Okay? <laughs> so you're... Oh, all right, I mean, I'm not taking my armor off. I'm fucking... All right, so why don't you guys stay out here? I'm going by myself. Uh, well, let me give you bull strength first. No, no, I got, I got potions. Don't worry about it. Drink a potion and... If I need to drink why a potion... Why isn't everyone going in? Because they're little bitches, that's why. I'm not taking my armor <laughs> off, you know what I said. I'm fucking not going in there naked or anything. You know what? I don't want to put my armor on the ground here. It's all gross and stuff. And I don't want a cave in to like, have to clean that up. So... I can hold it. <laughs> no, that's okay. I can hold you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he will later. <laughs> uh... Well, he's an attractive looking guy, you know? Dashing gentleman. So, yeah, I was just enslaved. What's... He's not enslaved. He's a cohort. He's, he's been he's been ennobled to my cause. So, okay, I just yeah, let's just well, we'll just roll up in there. Psh, all a bunch of girls, dude. All right. So as you enter the twisted blade, Angled Swamp gives way to a relatively large clearing, a calm pool of unnaturally still water ringed by twisted, decaying willow trees. Wind blows, but the trees do not sway. This is as if the very land had died. Nice. I don't think I have the spell to fertilize. Uh, do that. Let's put some fertilizer here. Are we inside the tree yet? Yeah, you go in. Did anybody cast light? Is it light in here? Or is it dark in here? I mean, it's a tree. Uh, well, it's dark. Uh, you've been having to travel with your lights, as okay. usual. I probably uh, just you know, took the cover off on my spear to let it shine, and then cast light on um, somebody else's stuff that needs it. Well, I do have my ever-burning torch, so I'm not really worried about it too, too much. Very little sunlight comes through the trees. Hello? All right. Hello? To your uh, hello response... You see, like, a bubbling in the water, and then quickly a creature fully emerges from the water. Holy shit. Oh, uh, did you show a picture? Yes, you did. So, okay. And here you ha here is Miriana, once, uh, once a soul-shakingly beautiful nymph. The princess is now a haggard, ghostly horror. Her disembodied arms float at her sides, exposed bone and sinews stretching toward her torso, but never too far out of reach. Her lower torso fades away into smoke. That's pretty gross. If you look, uh, re, uh, wait, what you know about the beautiful eyes of uh, Nymph is, is gone, and her eyes are like a well of hellish horror, hmm. uh, crying out in agony. That sounds absolutely horrible. What can we do with her? She is beauty undone and torment incarnate. Are you okay? <laughs> well, you go in, you ask. Yes. <laughs> as uh, you, uh, you to your response, to her first response is just like a howl. She's like, ah, ah, ah. I guess you're not okay. Where is the Where is the commander? Whatever his name is. She's like, you. <laughs> You, you you failed, Lamitar, and you fail, and your kind failed to protect the fort, and the Kree Gogers have taken them to uh, to their lair. We're not Black Arrows. We weren't at the fort. We just came here to find out what happened to the fort. 
Why? Why'd you come? Because help. To help. We 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 uh, took back the fort. We killed the ogres in the fort, and now we're here to figure out what happened to uh, what's his name, Lamatar. She's like, you. <laughs> we're not black arrows. We had nothing to you do. You know Lamatar. No, but we want to find him. <laughs> the the ogres took him, and I was unable to save him. I I know he is dead, but I've tried to but I've tried to bring him to me to, to use my magic. But some foul magic prevents his soul from returning to his new body. Okay. His new body. I don't want to know. Um, how can we help you, Miriana? Please don't kill us. It's like, <laughs> I I don't know I don't know what happened to my love Lamatar, but uh, if you can if you could find his remains or uh, just for him to reincarnate, I just need a lock of his hair or a single fi uh, or a single finger. I I don't know why I don't know why my powers are not working. Probably because you're dead or something. You don't look. Too awfully uh, healthy at the moment. You don't exactly look like you're in 100% shape. But the ogres took him. That means we could probably go find him for you. She's like, you would? As long as you don't kill us. <laughs> and, and kill Nathan. I mean, you can kill Waith. That's okay, but... <laughs> uh, and she's like... And she begins to sink below the water. With, with her head above... Hmm? Which which way did the ogres go? Probably She's the like, they mountain. took. <laughs> yes, they took them to uh, their Hook Mountain. I don't know why. If if he were simp if he were dead, I, he he they he, if he were dead, they would. Ha I would not be able to save him. Or if he were dead, I would be able to save him. Something is wrong. <laughs> okay, we'll go. We'll we'll find him and bring back some hair or an arm or something. As she begins descending, when most of her torso is submerged, but her head and her arms that are sinewy but not even attached to her body, uh, she cries out, Return my beloved to me. Return my commander to my heart, or I shall find him with my vines and my dark trees, and I will eat the land and churn your people to bone and misery. Return Lamatar to my embrace. And with that, she descends further into the water. Okay, well, that's creepy, so let's get the fuck out of here. <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but this marsh place is, is really creepy. And Nathan, are you still shaking? <laughs> Nathan, are you muted? Because I can't hear you if you're talking. Yep. Uh, I'm assuming I'm still shaking. Okay. You are still shaking. Yeah. Well, maybe you should stop shooting things. <laughs> yeah, maybe you should stop shooting the darkness and shit and just, like, like do stuff. Well, we did tell him to do that, so that's not yeah, exactly yeah. Well, I didn't tell him to do shit, you know. All right, I think I, I don't know, guys. We should probably get the fuck out of here, though. I don't like this place. This creepy ass marsh place is reminding me too much of that, like Foxgrove Manor. Oh, uh, with that you, you row. Say? With that you row out. You get back to the boat past the derelict ship. Fuck and past the and past the pool of the naturally clear water, and begin rowing back. I need five minutes. Okay, I'm gonna. Feel to talk about what you're thinking. Guess I'm gonna go poop then. Apparently pooping. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, that's creepy. It looks like Nathan fell asleep. Nope, he's moving. No, I um, actually think I'm going to have to cut out on game early. I, I really don't feel well. What's wrong? Uh, I took some uh, antibiotics for this. Uh, I have like a swollen lymph node, and I think they just gave me super powerful antibiotics because I feel like really bad. Now, I know that people don't take them, but if they if they told you to take the whole treatment... Take the entire treatment. That's if you don't. That's how you get uh, things that are drug resistant, and then you have something that antibiotics can't touch, and other people get it because you didn't take the entire treatment to kill off everything. 
No, and I normally do that, but they they just gave me this insanely powerful <laughs> antibiotic, and I don't do too well with medication. Like, I feel really awful right now, so I think I'm going to have to cut out early. Uh, you guys can look at my character sheet on um, uh, on uh, freaking Google Drive if you need it. Well, would you mind uh, waiting to let Adam know yourself? Yeah, I guess so. I need to share this anyways. He, he said less than five minutes. I heard. Okay. I heard. All right. Well, I'm, I'm hoping uh, you feel better, man. It sucks being sick. If you don't yeah. feel better by the time uh, your your pills are done, you need to go see the doc again. Yeah. All right, well, I'm going to share this out real quick here. I think I don't think I have the updated one shared to you guys. Here, I'll just put, I think, I just put the link in chat. It should work. I'm going to click on that. Oh, wait, wow, look at that. That's cool. Can someone click on that and make sure they can see it? Um, where am I looking? Nope. Do you, no, yeah, weird. that that works perfectly. How did you do uh, that? I just put the link. In, all I did is paste the link. I don't even... I didn't do anything special. Cool. All right, well, I'll, I'll see you guys later. All right, man. Hope you feel better. Thanks. Zilchith, you didn't have much to say about that. Did everything... Was that lame, or...? Taylor? So, yeah, I totally can't wait until next week when I start my Way the Wicked campaign. It's going to be awesome. Remember, Lawful here? Evil? Is, uh, I, don't, I don't think he's okay. back. Uh, what'd you say, Zach? Uh, remember, you're Lawful Evil, not Lawful Stupid. No, trust me, dude. I got this on lockdown, dude. Bitch is gonna pay. You're... <laughs> what are you playing as? Uh, cleric. A Lawful Evil Acemere Cleric. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. Who's running it? A uh, guy online, I don't know. So I, Jaylen, I, where so, are you? So I dropped extra I'm here, I've been muted for some reason. I dropped uh. extra ch extra channel and picked up selective channeling and I got that uh, trickery uh, domain. So Good, good. Trickery domain is awesome. Yeah, the, because uh, the bluff disguise and stealth and stuff. So. Yeah. Well, that was loud. Yeah, it is. It's, it's very useful, especially for a game uh, like you're running. Yeah, I'm a lawful evil ASMR. <laughs> Val, you didn't comment for any of the swamp stuff. Was it lame or? It was swampy. Okay. I was trying to fix an issue with my computer that was causing issues with the game. Actually, it a stupid SkyDrive syncing always slows down my internet connection, so I was turning it off. Is that kind of like the, is that like the Google Drive syncing stuff? No, like, it's like Microsoft's lame version of that. Oh, so it's like like the Dropbox sync where it syncs all that shit and it's for Microsoft. Gotcha. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's annoying, but I love my Dropbox. Yeah, I'm using Dropbox right now for a uh, Battletech game that I'm going to be playing. Oh, really? Yeah. So with that, you've, you've rode and rode and uh, you emerge out of the... Swamp. Nasty, stinky swamp. It's fucking horrible. Ironically, Waith feeling better, no longer shaking. He's not shaking no more. Yay! Where did well, Waith go? You know, it's too late. He's already gone. He's he, and I'd say he was shaking. He he wasn't uh, necessarily shaking, but he was ill. What happened to him? Did he drop out or something? Uh, he's out of the the game. He's feeling real bad due to uh, medication and sickness. So he's gonna be out. He's out. His what in sickness? His medication. He doesn't do well with medication, apparently. What he's doing? Smoke too much pot last night or something? No, he's uh, <laughs> he has swollen lymph nodes. The doc gave him some antibiotics. 
and uh, they're having a bad effect on his. Uh... Okay. Yeah. I didn't know. Sorry, I was pooping. All right, so you emerge out of the swamp. All right, so let's go back to Turtleback Ferry and get all this funk off of us and think about what we're going to do. And now that Nathan's not here, we don't have to worry about a little bitching about, I need a potions from evil and blah, 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 blah. Planning, you mean? No, that's not planning. That's just him, like, worried about him, like, losing and not having a save point. All right, as you're rowing, you're following the coastline, about to get to the part where the... Uh, we're at the mouth of the river, and then at the mouth of the river on the other side will be Turtleback Ferry. As you're approaching, I mean, the rain's gone down. It's a little trickle, but nothing of note. As you're getting closer uh, to the north, you hear, uh, I mean, there's a river flowing and all that in the water here, but you hear, like, the sound of thunder, but it seems to be continuous. What in the hell? <laughs> so explosions? Thunder. No, it's more like a thunderous roll, like how the way thunder roll, the sound of thunder rolling. Dude, I'm telling you, man, these rains have something to do with what Lucretia's doing, dude, I'm telling you. So, kind of like this? I don't want to look at a video. It's no video. It's it's a sound with a picture on it. I don't like sound. Um, I'll listen. <laughs> Continue. Oh, I'm just trying to understand what we're hearing. It's just like a rolling, r rolling thunder, and that's all it is? It sounds a lot like that. Okay, I'll okay. watch that. Ten hours. Plus, probably just roll, but yeah, you hear rolling thunder. I'm telling you, people, there's something creepy about this, and it's got to have something to do with what's going on here. Probably, yeah. I mean, I mean think about it. How Lucretia and her sister were marking people, so when they died, they did some kind of crazy shit. Okay, that their souls would go to their master or something. Okay. While you're having this conversation, you see coming down the mouth uh, to the mouth of the river, flowing down like a huge wave of water. Uh, tree uh, with tree stumps. A tsunami. Or... And st uh, and st with tree stumps and giant stones. Some of it even appear be being like worked masonry, flowing down the river at an alarming rate. Towards us. Towards you. What's it like a How long do I have? Like, do I have enough time to cast a spell? Yes. I'm going to cast Wall of Stone in front of us, and uh, one inch thick per four cast level, so two inches thick, composed of five foot square per level, double walls area by halving its thickness. I don't want to double the area, I just want to uh, enclose the front of us so that it's, let me get on here and do a little draw. So like, if this is the boat here, I want to do like that, and then just keep stacking three times. So it'll be... Um, I don't think that can work. Because there's nothing for it to be on. You're, a, you're on a boat. It's in water. It says this spell creates a wall oh, of rock that emerges in an adjoining stuff. rock surface. Yeah, how how, how far away is the water? Where is um, the... Uh... Can you show us on the map where the water's coming from? And where we are in relation to it? Okay. Well, you were coming up Okay, yeah. Uh, I can do that. Not really, but I'll do that. Well, you can just, like, uh, use Helga as where we are. And then... No, no, I, I got it. So, sharing the map. Share. So, you're right about here. Okay. Hold up for the map to come share. Yeah, it's not up yet. Are you sure? Here we go. Okay, now where are we? You're like right, probably right about here. Okay. Uh, I'm still. And where's the seeing... Where's the water coming from? It's coming down the Skull River. 
I and it's just and it's just muddy flood water uh flood water like a rushing torrent coming down oh the dam broke maybe Okay, that means Turtleback Ferry's fucked, so we need to go warn them. How far down, how much time do we have? Well, you, at this point, it must have already reached Turtleback Ferry. Uh, shit. Turtleback Ferry is north of you. It must have already hit the uh, village by now. Right now, you have like eight seconds. Uh, give me a second, I'm reading up on... Some of my water spells that I have ready. Water walk. Del, you know, fly. Yeah. <laughs> I don't even need that. I can just fly myself. So can you cast fly on one of us, and I'll carry. I'll carry. Uh, what you call it? Little little dipshit. It would take me a minute to brew the extract. Shit, that's right. You can't cast magic. Um, Give me a knowledge sailor check. Oh, okay, I can do that. That is something I can do. I got like a plus two on it. <laughs> how long, how far away from you from the shore and how far away oh! from you? <laughs> That's why I thought, bitches. <laughs> uh, how far away are you from the shore? Yes. I mean, I was figuring it was probably, it's, pro it's probably staying by the shore. You're probably like 30 feet from it. Uh, I could cast Water Walk on us. You're uh, fine though, and that Helga's able to, with her natural twenty, able to turn the boat. Oh damn! The muddy water <laughs> uh, yeah. crashes through uh, the initial wave of it. It finally reaches you, but the boat's Helga has the boat turned, and it rushes through. And while a lot of mud gets onto you, and you're caked in with like muddy water, you see branches go by. You're able to avoid it. The boat's able to stay uh, upright. You even see a body of a dead ogre, like churning like falling through that's that's hilarious because like you know well we know who did it now well <laughs> who i'm blaming anyways well i think uh, that's so awesome because like the one you know it's it's that's that's not cool okay let's get back let's get back to turtleback ferry man see what's mm -hmm. see if there's any damage or anybody needs help or anything and i need to uh redo my spells when we get there change Turtle, them up yeah turtleback douchewad all right so you head to tur uh, you begin rowing and you're able wow well, the you feel the water level as as you get up to the river you feel that the water level has gone up a bit and there's still water flowing down let's see let's see dude trying something here hold on i do that and then i do this uh and we're then, trying something in google drive or in Oh, about to share something. Okay. Sorry, I'm and just trying to see where I'm supposed to be looking. It takes a lot more effort. You're able to row up uh, the river, and you see Turtleback. As you get near, you're able to spot Turtleback Ferry. Oh, well, it's kind of underwater. The temple looks like it's fucked. So are the docks. Three. What's number three? Uh, oh, that, that probably was, like that was the bar. That was that, that sailor bar, right? I think so. Okay. Well, we need like to try to help anybody that we can. Yeah, for reals. Uh, let's water walk. I'm gonna. I'm going to cast water walking. On how long uh, does that last? Of, it lasts for. Let me see. For a while. Uh, ten minutes a level, so ninety minutes, an hour and a half. <laughs> oh wow, that's perfect. You had water walk. Water walk ready. Yeah, we were going into a fucking swamp. <laughs> I don't want to sneak in the bottom of that shit. Why didn't you? We could have foregone the whole boat thing then. No, it it would take more than an hour and a half to walk. You tread on any liquid as if it was firm ground, mud, snow, or quicksand, ice, and even. Wow, that's pretty awesome. I'm very happy about that. Very happy. This is the order I put things in. All right. So you cast water walks, which is probably faster than rowing at this Hell point. Hell yeah! Let's get out. The village of Turtleback Ferry is drowning. The muddy, surging waters of the Skull River tear through the center of the community to fill Clay Bottom Lake with a terrible fury. Many of the buildings that once sat comfortably on the river banks are already flooding and in danger of collapsing from the rushing water. All right, I want to. Can I do a we need to head to check? the church okay. and probably the bar to try to get people and help them. I, I want to see a roll of perception to see if there's anything around me that around us that immediately needs help. Oh yeah, so good idea. See. 
good idea. All right, so you get up and you're able to basically get in the town. Uh, roll perception. You. Ro nice, Mike. Nine plus fourteen. Up oh, twenty-nine. Okay, you see. Oh, uh, Talion's gone. Talion, are you here? I know, I know. I know his computer. Was, you, you, did, are you still on roll twenty, man? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's just active funky then. Okay. Yeah, we don't see you. Did you roll for a perception? Uh, we're good. Okay. Uh, that perception's good enough. Okay. You see. Let's see. A group of children and a woman huddle aboard one of the old turtle shell ferry boats. The tiny flood, uh, flood-based vessel lodged up against the general store and threatening the capsize at any moment. Let's get over there and help them. Yep. Uh, Let's go. Over. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> That's the first thing we help. The women and children in the collapsing boat. So we jump off the water and we're sort of running like we're Jesus men. We're like running in the water. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Like, like, we're crossing the River Jordan to go save the people. <laughs> All right, people see you literally running across the water, which is pretty awesome now that I think about it. We're, 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 like, we're, like, we're like Valkyries coming to save them or something, you know? <laughs> Valkyries don't save people. They take the dead. Well, you know what? I'm a, I'm a good Valkyrie, okay? <laughs> I'm As a you get shield maiden, okay, how about that one? So this is where, like, uh... uh let's see... So we, let's, go, let's go to the, the to the vessel and, like, have them... If we can climb up to them, or... We have rope, don't we? We have the grappling hook still? Yes. Yeah. Yes. So that they, we, we, can, we, we, can, we can literally carry them one by one to safety. Or we can just move the, uh, the... To hold the boat down and then push it along to uh, land. Is it going to break or something? Did you say it was going to capsize? It was going to uh, capsize. That's why we pull, pull it down. We're fairly strong people, and I have uh, strength as my domain, so that gives me another plus five on my check. Okay. I can actually get a, a plus eight. But Since we're not going to sink, yeah. So let's, let's nine, fix the plus boat. Nine. <laughs> let's fix the boat. <laughs> All right, you're able to get to the boat and uh, push it to safety. The six of you. Actually, were all six of you able to be cast under the spell? Yep, I can do uh, one person per level, so I can do right, nine. Right awesome. So oh, what are you shit. guys? That's so awesome, dude. So what, we we each gonna grab so, like yeah. a side of the boat and like steer it to the safety? Yeah, that sounds legit. I mean, it's, it's like we're walking on ground, so... Yeah, I guess so, so you're able to get over. Uh, she's like, help! Uh, she, uh, she looks at you six, uh, sick, running up, and she's like, help me! Help, help the children! We got you. Just stay put. Not a problem. That's why keep, we're keep, here. Your, keep your heads down. Hold on. Your, subjects, your feet are actually are an, an inch or two are actually above the surface, so this even works on snow. Nice. <laughs> So basically, I want I want them to like to like to like duck their heads and cover duck and cover because it gives them something to do with the stop the, besides worrying and running around. All right, so yeah, the boys, and then uh, so you get the thing and like one of the as you're rolling and, and you're rowing, and then all of a sudden you see uh, like you're rowing uh, carrying the boat, and then one of the girls like little girls, she's like has a little tail there, and she points her uh around the boat, and she's like, she just shrieks, ah! I mean, we'll, uh, we'll check it out. Yeah, what's, what's she screaming about? Fucking bitches, dude. All right, as you turn around, you see a night belly boa. It's a large constrictor snake. Slept down the, uh, slept down the water, coming to uh, attack, uh, coming to uh, attack the easy game. Bring it, bitches. Rage. I guess, I guess roll initiative. Uh, let's have Waith and Satchel okay. still working on the boat. Yeah. So we can do it with just people that are here. Yeah. Alrighty. And Caven. Caven, yes. No, Caven's gonna shoot his crossbow. Yeah, 
he's gonna do his crossbow. That's what I'm saying. He's gonna fight. All right, initiative, people. I'm working on it. Yes. Yeah. All right, so I'm gonna assume this thing dies. Can we just assume that? <laughs> well, okay. If you insist. It's probably gonna be killed on the first thing. Everyone has initiative. I'll bash this thing. Yeah. How many what hit is it? What is it? Like, it's a variant constrictor snake. It's like a CR5 creature. Oh, yeah. We're like, we just crush it with our toes. And this would have been a, more of a threat if you didn't have the maneuverability you have, but... <laughs> <laughs> We're literally <laughs> walking on like, water. <laughs> yes! So we just slice not it wanting to give, Not wanting to sink into a swamp actually do we, wound do up we, <laughs> Do we still get <laughs> yes. experience for the encounter? <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Scrove. Thank you. <laughs> we're we're, we're going we're, we're to be able to save everybody because of this. Oh, yes, definitely. So what's next? So you're, <laughs> able to, you're able to quickly get her up the river, as you can see on the map. You're able to get them to, like, basically building number four, and okay. they're able to get in, and villagers are out uh, giving a shore um, to the shore. Actually... Old uh, Iron Tooth points out and it's like, "There's people. There, there. There's a lot of people still in the uh, in the church." Well, let's go. Let's, let's take the uh, boat with us. Let's take the boat with us. Yeah, so we can yeah. train more people. Yes, that's it. We're gonna take the ferry with us. <laughs> We're gonna ford the river, literally. <laughs> oh, yes, given uh, the floodwaters, I mean, they're not as bad now, so there that isn't. Like a torrent of water coming down, though the water level is still a couple feet high. Uh, whatever the initial push seems to have faded, but um, move this. So we go to the temple and help them out. Yeah. Uh oh, we changed maps. Oh shit! That means we're gonna fight somebody. <laughs> oh, uh, where are our tokens at, man? Top right. Top right. Uh, I see they're on there. Okay, I see you now. So as you get closer, as the is it all people, uh, watered, or is that why it's kind of wavy? I think it's just natural. The wavy part is you'll see if you zoom out, you'll see some yellow, and that's dry land, like a tree. And okay. Oh. There's dry land to the top and bottom, but it okay. doesn't matter. So be uh beyond the town's church stands solid. Its foundations already three feet deep in flood waters. Frantic movement is visible in the upstairs window as townsfolk trapped inside rush about in a desperate attempt to save scriptures, comfort the sick, and pray for deliverance. Where, the temple? At the, yeah. Okay. And I have to make a cave -in token at some point. Yeah, yes. well, we'll use Satchel for now, I guess. Yeah, because Satchel and, and... No, they came with us. Because we were fighting and that's when we left them. So... Yeah. Give me a perception check. Oh, plus 13. Uh, <laughs> yeah. All right. One of the villagers reaches out from the window and, like, waves in your direction. I'm going to move you guys actually farther. Uh, okay. Do we need a token? For you guys would actually... For who? For the boat? Uh, yes, I think I have a boat token. Okay. Sort of. All right, so... You have to get to the church. Wait, no, I don't. Alright, well, we could just draw, like, a, a square or whatever. Yeah. How big does it need to be for the uh, the boat that we, we picked up? Um, how big does it need to be? It's just a rowboat, man. Uh, yeah, I, I don't know. Okay, yeah, that's a rowboat. We had to carry all six of us, so... Yeah. All right, so you have the rowboat. You uh, get it around. You move it around. Because we were like walking, you know, on water. Yeah, walking on water. It's pretty awesome. <laughs> we're <laughs> just pushing like a like a like a wagon. All right, you see it, and then uh, as you're approaching, you notice what appears to be like a huge black tree being swept down river, and it's like on a collision course with the church itself. Oh. Brace yourself! Crikey's! It's like coming straight at it. A big Going to uh, point it out and yell for them to brace themselves. What, a black tree? Alright. Yeah. 
Oh, but the tr before the before the tree hits, it submerges. Oh, that's good. Probably. Oh not. yeah, it's all. <laughs> He's then you see so. <laughs> bursting out of the water something. Almost uh, the water like splashes up, and you hear like a roar, and a creature comes out of the wa uh, comes out of the water itself, right next to the. It's Black Mega. Right next to the church. <laughs> Oh, that's lovely. Let's get it! <laughs> it burst out of the water, and like you hear like screaming inside the church as it like comes up, and bashes and bashes into it. And for some reason, it seems quite angry, and takes its huge tentacles and smashes it against the church, letting out a roar. It... I mean, if I if I looked like it, I'd probably be angry too. So, things pretty ugly looking. <laughs> Uh, what do I have? Well, and then Caven looks at the situation. Shit. <laughs> it's Black Maga. <laughs> it's a that's a great assessment. It's great. Caven, your job is to stick next to the Waith boat? and shoot arrows or bolts at that thing. Uh. All right. I guess initiative. Didn't we just roll initiative? No, but oh, we rolled a right, new initiative. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We got a new initiative. Actually, when did you guys roll initiative? For, for the oh, snake. you can take... I, I'm taking this one, because I got a 20 on it. Yeah, so. take it. <laughs> take your old initiative, I guess. Uh, okay. This thing, was got a reach of like 20 feet or something crazy? Yep. Jesus. If you want to wait, Helga, uh, I can do something for us. Well, if it, if it involves a large Helga, then... Uh... <laughs> and then Wraith has an initiative of... Would, uh, yeah, don't like you the initiative. In large Helga uh, costs 25 gold, whereas your bull strength for Helga costs 300? Yeah, well, 150. Yeah, half price. 150, so I'll give you bull strength. Strength instead of uh, enlarge, and you drink and enlarge. Okay. Oh, wait, you don't know what its initiative is. I don't care because I'm drinking potions. <laughs> all right, all right. Top of the initiative, Zell. All right. So you gave me bull strength, okay? Yeah, I'm. I think I'm going to give you bull strength and then push the uh, the boat towards the. What you call it? Works for me. That's pretty far away. Yeah, it's. Well, it's fucking huge. Look, look how big it is. I got what, it. What's the reach on that? It is basically twenty feet, ten... man. Something like this. That's why. Does it have twenty feet or fifteen feet reach? I'm said twenty. Twenty. Uh, probably twenty. All right. Way too small. Yeah, I can get within thirty feet and still hit it pretty well. <laughs> Let's kill this thing and get like a bajillion experience. <laughs> so, okay, let's see here. So it can hit out to here. So I want to move to here. Which is 45 feet. Which you can't do in a single thing. Unless you have some power. I, I'm to sorry, move. what? How can you I move 45? Five five? 60. When I can't did you cast? People I don't. I have the huh. wings discovery. I get nine minutes of fly per day automatically. Oh, nice. Nice. So if I just extend my wings and start flying. <laughs> when did Wait, this what? happen? Uh, the wings discovery. <laughs> the no, discoveries no, are like the like greatest thing ever. When, you when see you what kind of wings? wings. Big yeah. bat like wings. So when, she, when she's when she's fully toked up, she looks like she's turned into a full devil. <laughs> nice. On everything, but so let's see here. I move to there. I think I'll be just out of its range. Yeah, just out of its range if I move there. So, I'll move there. Yeah, how close does that put it for me? Three feet. <laughs> just still within range of point blank shot. Excellent. That's my move action. And now I'm going to. Oh, cool. You got a cave in token. Yeah. Fire I'm bomb. That hits my chase Holy shit. Yes. 
Yeah, I learned to love Touch AC when I was playing the uh, Pathfinder Society game the other day. And I played a, played a gunslinger. <laughs> and I was like... Kaboom. Dude, if we kill this thing, that'd be like a bajillion experience, man. I guarantee it. <laughs> well, we uh, don't right, care so about DR. killing it. We care about saving the people in... If Jim... Alright. No offense, but... Yeah. <laughs> so you hit it? Yep. Alright, you see a cast, and it takes some damage. Okay. That going, roars to attention. I'm going to... So, drinking a potion is a move action, right? Yep. Okay, so I'm going to drink a potion and enlarge Helga. And then I'm going to... Technically, move. drawing it is a move action. I already had it out. As soon as this big-ass freaking potion, this big-ass thing, I'm like, okay, we mean Rico, we're talking already. <laughs> so I enlarge me. You're unable to do that yourself? No, I can't. Well, he, I guess you could drink two potions. No, it's a, it costs yeah. a bunch. So I'm just going to move to 30. Okay. Can you, can you yeah. still reach me here with the spell? Uh, maybe. Let me look. I, I don't know the range. Of it. No, touch. Okay, then I'll... But what I can do is... Uh, you can move and cast and... it? Yeah, it's a standard action. Okay. Alrighty, so you're going to move there? Yep. Okay. You see Black Maga roar angrily at your presence. Black Maga. Yeah, but you were right. Uh, hell there. After you attack, well, though, no, that's what the no image longer... said. That's what the image said on Adam's screen. You're no longer <laughs> uh, facing. It's no longer um, going to destroy the church. So you saved the church. Congratulations. Yay! The experience for that. <laughs> it moves forward. Ooh, it's in Zell's reach now. Here's your dead Zell. Let's see, do do do. Actually, no. It's gonna. Yeah, gonna go right there. What? And it's you see it just move closer there, and it 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 turns its mouth toward it, toward you, and it exhales a cloud of foul sm smelling poisonous breath. And this cloud of black smoke feels like a sixty foot cone emanating all over you. Oh. Uh, will saves. Well, luckily I'm raging. <laughs> Uh, Where's the button? Do I have my armor? No, magic medallion. Okay. So plus nine. I need to like roll twenty. Uh, fuck. Yeah, we're fucked. Yeah, probably not good enough. Alrighty. Uh, wait. I'll roll for ways. Uh, well, uh, we might pause here, given how intense it. We'll see in a second. Oh, Wait got a good roll. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. roll for Zell. Or roll uh, for Satchel. We'll see if Satchel's even close. I don't... just roll a natural oh. twenty. Okay. Roll okay. a twenty, and we'll see. Nope. All right. So I'm setting this out for the record. Uh, this will go on the recording. Zell. Six, uh, six points of wisdom damage. Helga, four points of wisdom damage. Helga's less wisdom. Rico, four point, uh, three points of wisdom damage. Selcha, Sacha, four. Waith, six. Uh, Haven, two. Adjustment. Plus. Yeah, whatevs. Ability drained, wisdom, apply bonus. You did six. I got plenty of wisdom to go. Plus, uh, Zell, two rounds confusion. Oh, good. Helga, five rounds confusion. Fuck. Rico, five. Satchel, six. Waith, one. Haven, five. Nice oh, confusion work again. Uh, we shall see right now. Satchel, it's his confusion round. 1D100. Ah, oh, fuck. Okay, so D1 through 25 is act normal. 
I think he is about. I think uh, Satchel is about to kill Caven. <laughs> Attack nearest creature for this purpose. A familiar counts as part of the subject self. All right. Satchel's like worm creature and then goes to stab uh, Caven. So one d twenty. And he misses. So his first attack misses. His second attack probably hits. misses. His third attack misses. So he gets one stab plus his new fancy uh, sneak attack damage because Caven would be flat footed. Doesn't Caven act when Helga acts? No, Caven has his own initiative. Oh, uh, you didn't add him to the turn order. Oh, good. Uh, good point. Roll 1d20. Plus he gets like actually a higher one given 5, so he has like 6, so his initiative is like 13. Yeah, Still less than Satchel's. <laughs> yeah. Alright, so he takes 18 damage. Uh, and Satchel's going to stop. Right. Or actually, Satchel does no. Da he does go to the stab. He's gonna stab once, but he's gonna need to draw his cr uh, draw his crossbow or something like that. We'll see. Rico, one d one hundred. Please get a one to twenty five. No, you don't. Babble and incoherently, right? Yep. There's twelve of them. There's twelve of them. They're everywhere. They're everywhere. <laughs> Wait. 1d100. You want me to roll it for him? Okay, you got it. 76. Yeah, he starts dabbing Attacks himself. nearest creature. Rico. Me. Rico. I think. Yeah. Yeah. So let's see his longbow attack. Oh, 16 uh... 16 and 11. Yes. Possible crit on a longbow? No. No. They both hit. Really? Yeah. Alright, so that is 2d8 plus 26. And then Caven. 65. Caven stabs himself in the leg. Zell. Nice, Zell. You do normal. Yay. Yep. Fly straight up. Bomb the shit out of him. That would actually probably be the wisest action would be to fly straight up into the air, 30 feet, so I'm constantly out of its range. And then bomb the shit out of it. Yep. I'm going to do that. I'm going to fly up. And then... I guess that would be an attack of opportunity. Yeah. But I'll just... <laughs> it's either that or stay in range. <laughs> Better to take one attack of opportunity than get horribly murdered by a full round attack. Alrighty. So you fly up. Um... You feel his, the presence of sporting local dimensions. Um, Alright, 20. How high were you flying? Uh, if you're doing a full round action, you can go four times your... No, I'm, let, let's say you weren't actually in range for a... Uh, I was already action. kind of higher up. Yeah, we'll assume that. So that's your firebomb damage. Roll for damage. Right. Here he did. Oh, I mean, never mind. 32. Nice. Alrighty. You hit it, and it seems to have some sort of... Bomb. Very good DR. Wait, do your your bombs bypass DR, right? Yeah, they're doing, they're dealing fire damage, so it's a resistance, not a DR. And spell resistance but, isn't affected by bombs, because it's a splash. But they don't, count, they don't count as magic. Or do they? It, so. it doesn't deal weapon damage, it's fire damage. So it would be under resistances, not d uh, DR, not damage reduction. Okay, thank you. If, if, if it had resist fire, it would get reduced, but... 
That's awesome. Okay. It has damage reduction. It goes. Yeah. <laughs> and I can change their damage type. So I start Helga. Let me do that. One d one hundred. Helga. Yeah, yeah. I know. I always fucking jack these up. Well. Yep. And I'm babbling and can hear like. Blah, 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 blah. Well, if you weren't, you would have to choose between uh, these three to kill. Okay, so it's Black Maga's turn. Should have waited until I right, blocked us. Wait, let me move Black Maga back because it has some movement on it. Swim 60 feet. Okay. Put her back there. 5, 10, 15, 20. Go there. Okay, actually, you're gonna stop. Yeah, let's go though. Ah, uh, sorry, just debating on where to stand with this. So we'll go there. And going to bite Helga. Oh, it's underneath uh, Zeltruth, right? In the water? Yeah. I yeah. flew up a little farther to keep myself definitely out of its range. Oh, that too, that too. So, it... <laughs> yep, it bit me. <laughs> Okay, so it bites into you. You take 48 plus 13. You're missing half a party. 30, and then you take uh, energy drain. How much energy drain do you take? Two, level, uh, two levels of energy drain. I have no idea what that is. That's a level. It's like a level drain. So you're down to satchel. Abs himself. Oh, right, you can roll for yourself. Oh, sorry, how's? Yes. Okay. Uh, I want to cast. Suppress charms and compulsions on myself, on Waith, and on Satchel, or on, on Helga. And that'll give us a, another check, or it should give us another check and a plus four uh, to the bonus to save against it. Wait, no, you don't uh, get a boast to Wait. And charms and convulsions in effect on the targets are suppressed for the duration of the spell. Wait, no, it's automatically... It automatically stops it. Oh, okay, cool. So... I'm going to guess, right? Uh, what's, the, what's the spell called? Suppress charms and compulsions. Yeah, I think it a... functions like suppress fear, where... It, as remove fear, except the targets of save against charm and compulsion effects. Fresh charm and Charms and compulsion. compulsion in effect on the targets I suppressed for the duration of the spell. Four against fear effects. If I'm under influence of fear effect, the effect is suppressed for the duration of the spell. Oh, okay. Yes. Cool. One creature plus one additional creature per four levels. So four, eight. So you, it's you and two others. Yeah, me, me, wealth, and... Or I could, uh, do I need to do Waith, or do should I do Zeltruth? Helga. You can't reach Zell. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm really high up in the air. Oh, so. that's right, yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> and Satchel. I would do those two. Wait, can you reach... No, two... Yeah, I can... Yeah, you could get Waith and Helga. Yeah, so I'll do myself Waith and Helga. Alright, then you get a move action. Uh, Potion. Bull strength. <laughs> no, not bull strength, but cure serious wounds. On who? 
myself. Oh, you got jacked up? Oh, that's right. You got shot. Got yeah, 40 damage. Who got? Wounds. How'd you get shot for 40? Oh, yeah. Wait. <laughs> Wait. All right. Our good buddy Wait. Wait takes over. He's going to do everything he can. Multi, many shots. Multi, multi, He'll everything. Get five attacks. Uh, <laughs> two will be at plus sixteen. No, three will be at uh, plus sixteen. We'll do his main one first. Okay, his first shot, multi shot. Yeah. One d twenty plus. He. He's okay. going for. Did he do his little power shot thing? Watch, he got. Nah, nah. We don't know what this thing's AC is yet. Nah, let him keep the uh, the bonus to hit. Yeah. So that drops it down to like 13 because he's going to use many shot. Well, is he going to do rapid shot? I don't know what that does. Uh. Okay. I don't. Adds an extra arrow at it. Okay, his many shot, so we're going to say it's 13. Yeah, probably misses. Miss. Plus. And then his rapid shot missing. arrow. Oh, did it, his rapid shot arrow hit? I don't know, did it? His rapid shot arrow pierces the creature's hide. Many shot. And then his last uh, arrow... Many shot doesn't which... drop... His, his rapid his shot attack. does. Oh, okay. Wait, 1920, is that a... Didn't yeah. he... Oh, that's a... No, that's not a crit. He didn't take. The, Wait, uh, no, that is a crit on oh, a yeah. plus two composite longbow. Oh, nice. Crit threat. Oh, I need to roll my my healing. Hey, does it, it confirms. Yeah, so it's plus... got at least an AC of thirty-one. <laughs> so his seventeen wouldn't have hit. Plus, he gets another arrow at like something high, and that will miss. But he gets one arrow in on a crit. Which is 2d8 plus 26. What is he, the one guy from, like, uh, The Hobbit who, like, slays the smog with it's the so arrow? <laughs> <laughs> right. Except, you know, instead of firing one arrow, he's firing, like, fucking 30 the, the at one a time. Day, The one time where Nathan's actually doing something awesome, he just got sick and had to bow out. <laughs> All right, so then I didn't do anything for Satchel. He would just get a... Hey, roll damage. Oh, yeah, damage. Okay, good. I'm like, wait, you roll damage, um, bitch. I'm going to try something... No. Nah. So he misses with that, and then Caven gets to shoot some stuff. Yay. His favorite enemy is Black Maga. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Okay, uh, for this to work. Honestly. So I actually made him pretty fancy, and he's like, eat crossbow, mother effer. Does he need a full movement? Uh, yeah, he's taking a full round action. Let me bring this up. I've never... He should take a five foot step, like right here, to get away from us. Uh, yeah, move him. Then move him the five foot step. We can't. Where do you want to move? Oh, yeah, we Helga. Did. Right there. Okay. Wait. Oh, I have to roll the one d one hundred for him. No, you don't. He's cured. No, I gotta roll it, man. No, I didn't. <laughs> All right. Yeah, he's good. He's good. No, unfortunately, he's not. I only have one. Uh, Suppress charm and compression. I have removed disease, which won't do anything for this. Oh, he's, he's my cohort. I want to roll to unconfuse him. No. I already rolled. Hmm. So he'll shoot Satchel with a crossbow bolt. Eat crossbow bolt. Miss. Might have hit. <laughs> Favorite enemy, Satchel. I don't know how much damage that would do, but we're going to say Satchel's still up and walking. Zeldruth! Drop some bombs. Make it rain. Maybe. And she's probably just like, I don't know what's going on. Oh, which she, the uh, closest that... creature is still. The, <laughs> the... Yeah, that's deal damage to self. Yep. No, it is. Yeah. 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 Seventy six oh. and above. Seventy five. Helga. Well, I'm gonna go ahead. I'm in range to hit. I think. No. Yeah, yeah I'm ten feet. I have a 10 foot range. Oh, right. Yes, you are. So I'm going to do a. Five full... damage to myself. Thank goodness I don't have a strength modifier yeah, right now. Full round action here. So we're plus 16. That's plus my last 11. round of confusion because I was only confused for two rounds. Yep. Oh, how many rounds was Wei? Uh, yep, missed. Me? On your first attack. And I missed the second one as well. Don't you have three oh, right. attacks? No. While raining? No? 
No. No, it, oh, it's my thing that gives uh, extra attack. I just suck at this thing. Let's see if this will work. Twenty feet, perfect. It moves attack of opportunity from Helga. Oh yay! Eh, probably missed. Um, yes, you miss. So its AC is, is thirty because we know it a thirty-one hit, and a twenty-nine didn't. So a thirty has to hit it. Is this actually where it wants to go? Man. Probably just messed that up. Okay. Oh, it doesn't get its fancy attack. And moved and attacked. Oh. Because it was down here. Right. No. Oh. Alright, yeah. So it's going to move there to set into position. I don't and know. it is going to attack Helga. It's got to move first. By 24. Yep, it hit me. <laughs> oh, um, All right. Yeah. I mean, I pretty much a, a cat at this point could hit me. You know? Did you hit... Did you do the... Uh, Level energy drain? Yeah, I did. All right, you take thirty-four damage, uh, thirty-five damage, and the additional two levels of energy drain. All right, thirty-five more damage. All right, so then that leaves Rico. Uh, I'm going to. Flame strike it. Uh, it moved, right? Like and I'm here? actually sorry. We need to pause. Oh, dang it! This is gonna be really exciting. <laughs> How high above uh, the creature are you, Zeltra? Now let's see here. It's gargantuan, right? So it would be big, around twenty feet tall, probably as well. Kind of twenty feet in all directions. Yeah. I'd be around 50 feet above the ground, 30 feet above it. You're 50 feet above the ground, though, right? Yep. Okay, good. So Flame Strike would miss me. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was doing. I was checking. You're going to see a big old fucking tower of flame erupt around it. <laughs> Actually, do that now. And I'm going to be screaming warm strikes at you. You could also cast it, like, right here and miss me entirely. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's huge, I guess. Uh, let's see here. So, just straight 96? Hey, sure. Yeah, okay. All right. Uh, roll spell resistance. Yeah. Uh, I don't cast know. Cast a level check. Oh, divine, okay. Divine spells get spell resistance, right? Yes, and the flame strike explicitly has spell resistance on it. Yes, the resistance. Yes. Spell resistance. Um, caster check is right here somewhere. I just want. I I went from like wanting to like kill this thing to like now I just want to survive. So. It was... <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm looking. I don't know. 1d20 uh, plus a d caster level. That's yeah, it. 1d20 plus 9. Yeah. Oh, okay. Whether they're factored in your um, modifier or not, but it does not oh, involve Oh, and it gets your... an attack of... Wait, step out of its range. Me? Yeah. Bloop. Uh, it's... On uh, my screen, where... I don't even know where it is, man, because it's still staying where it was. Yeah, I didn't see it move at all. You don't see it right here? Where do you see it? I see it right where on top of Zeltruth. Oh. Yeah, that's where I, I see, see it too. It down here. Then there must be a disconnection issue because it is... Do you see All me right. moving it? No, no, I don't. I'm no. going to reload. So reload. Alright, so we'll pause in the reload. I'll, sh 
I'll draw the box where it is right now. Draw a shape. Really so we're, so we're done for idea. the day? Well, we will be, but let me just draw this box to see if the spell goes off. It's right there. Ah, yeah, that that make... <laughs> so your flame strike wouldn't hit me anyway. I haven't moved yet. <laughs> yeah, I even reloading and coming back. It's still not right, there. We'll, we'll play with it around Rico. Yeah, so you oh, have to okay, take then. you have to take a five foot step to avoid okay. damage. Uh, Roll the check. And then one d yeah. twenty plus nine. Yep. Mm. Mm. Your you cast the spell, but it fails around it. It nothing out of the, no flames end up touching the creature. Okay, and we'll pause there. All right, so we ding. <laughs> so I can get back one of those negative levels. No, oh, that's not how that works. That's not how it works. fight. I don't know how the energy dream works, honestly. It's basically, uh, for each one, it's basically a negative to everything. For how long? Um, this t 24 hours, after 24 hours, you get a save. If it's not, if you don't, uh, if it's oh, not uh, cured between then or that, uh, it's Can permanent. I use lesser restoration on him? I don't think it's lesser. Any magical effect when reducing ability scores, ability damage, blah, blah, blah. And then you'd have to get another 100 gold diamond. No big deal. Uh, not for lesser, no. Well, I don't think lesser does it. I think yeah. it, maybe it does. I don't know. But Okay, I, for I each know. negative level a creature has, it takes a cumulative negative one penalty on ability checks, attack rolls, combat maneuver checks, combat maneuver dense defense saving throws, and skill checks. In addition, the creature reduces its current and total hit points by 5 for each negative level it possesses. The creature is also treated as one level lower for the purposes of level-dependent variables such as spell casting. Uh, no, you need to cast regular restoration. Regular restoration? Yeah. Okay. And... There should be something called a negative level option in Hero Lab. I got it. And then so you have four levels of negative... I do. What? How many hit points do you have left? I have 60. Alrighty. Have a and good one, everyone. 100 GP for the regular one. It costs 1,000 to dispel a permanent negative level. Yeah. Well, so, it's, not, it's not permanent yet. Yeah, it's not permanent yet. And I think you might want to... Is, is, the, is the breath attack's wisdom damage permanent or temporary? It's wisdom damage. So that would require a regular restoration at 100 GP to restore. Or you can sleep on wisdom damage. So it's temporary. Did you factor in your wisdom damage for your spell casting? Yes. Because it will affect your save DCs and. Okay. Well, yeah, but would, it, yeah. would it affect his ability to actually cast the spells if it gets too low? I believe so. Yeah, if I don't have enough. Uh, if you don't have 10 plus well, spell level, it will fail from the damage. So you can't even cast. Uh, Level 6 spell if you don't have 16 wisdom from damage. Mm -hmm. Let's see, the energy drain saving throw will be, assuming you live, 22. <laughs> Chances of living are very low right now. Yeah, we're probably going to die. But it doesn't matter. Yep. There's always, no, there's always another AP we could do. <laughs> you saved the church. Zeltruth so, can live. Zeltruth just needs to fucking bug out. Yeah, Zeltruth has. See, see, Taylor has a very bad experience with flying and dying so far. So. Yes, but it. But only for nine rounds. Not any spells yet. <laughs> Just sort of does it. Then you run out of nine rounds and you're like, oh shit, I can't fly no more. Oh! Nine minutes. I have <laughs> nine minutes of flight. <laughs> oh, oh, I misheard you. I thought you had nine rounds, not nine no. minutes. That'd be nine awesome. Minutes. Nine rounds. You're like, oh shit, I'm out of I'm out of time. Oh. <laughs> you may want to you may want to be the one that runs away. All right, I mean, so uh, I'm stopping recording. All right. Have a good one, gentlemen.